All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream, the streamy mix stream stream. Uh, I am recording this next to a stream. I'm not, but if you're listening to this, I actually haven't been putting these up in podcast format. I should do that uh, for these actually on Spreaker. So uh, you can listen to these on Spotify. I don't know. They're tier lists. So I'm always like, eh, this is a very visual kind of stream. But if you would like these on Spotify or uh, Google Play or whatever, just let me know and I can I can definitely do that. But um, anyway, today we are going to be... What are we doing today? What, what's today's topic? We are ranking One Piece characters as roommates, apparently. Yes. Okay. So this should be a fun one. Uh, <laughs> Tacking. Hello, everyone. Sup? Magellan number one. Magellan best roommate ever. Um, let's see. Hello, everybody. Greetings, everyone. Good night, Tacking. Good night, people that live in the part of the world that is currently nighttime. Uh, let's see. Uh, is the Baldur's Gate series dead? Uh, yeah, for right now it is. I don't know when I'm going to pick that back up. But, uh, if it, if I do, it's going to be on Twitch. Uh, dog and cat, perfect roommates. Yes, Inuarashi and Nekamamushi are included. Uh, whenever I pick characters for this, uh, I have a big folder of, like, these little icons of all the One Piece characters. And there's a bunch, obviously. And uh, for this one, I basically, every single one, I'm just looking through it and I'm just like, okay, who would be a good pick for, like, a roommate in this particular context? Like, with the uh, influencer one, I'm like, okay, obviously Boa and Nami and Robin need to be included in that. Um, but for this one, I, I went with some different characters. I try to diversify the amount of characters that are included. Obviously, the Straw Hats are always going to be in, in it. Uh, the Yonko are always going to be included. The Admirals are always going to be included. Um, yeah. Testing, testing. Uh, I feel like Marco would be a good roommate. Well, I think Marco's on. Yeah, Marco's on here. We'll we'll get to him. We'll get to him. Testing, testing. Everybody's good. Yeah, Bone Sean is on here. I don't think you can see him on this uh, particular page, but he is down here. I think he's on the last row. Here's all the characters we're going to be looking at today. We have a lot of characters today. I don't even know how many of these are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. What's 14 times 5? I suck at math. It's that number. That number. That sounds like a big number. We should probably get started. That's over 50. We should probably get started. <laughs> we should probably get moving. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So we got the different uh, tiers here. We got best roommate at the top. We got very solid roommate right behind them. Perfectly fine roommate. Perfectly fine. Well-adjusted. Average. Don't think too highly. Don't think too lowly kind of roommate. Then we have kind of messy, eh, little bit messy, but not that big of a deal. I mean, it's irritating every now and then, but whatever. Uh, then we have never does anything, just lays around all day. And then we have awful roommate that I feel like at that point we're starting to delve into like, not just they don't do anything, but they are actively ruining shit for you. First time seeing this at live. It's 2.30 a.m. from my time zone. Always love your content. Thank you, Klee boy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, for the hundred, I don't know what that currency is, but for the hundred uh, dollars that it's depicting right now, thank you so much. Uh, you don't have to stay up for the whole thing because it is kind of late where you're at right now. Uh, Buggy's on here. Buggy's included. Uh, let's see. Then we have, yeah, so Awful Roommate is somebody that's actually ruining things for you. Like, that's the kind of roommate, like, you show up and for some reason your room is a mess. Like, they had no business being in there, but for some reason they were. And like, hey man, sorry, uh, you know, I, I brought a cat in from off of the street and it's covered in mud and it went in your room and it got mud all over your bed. Sorry, man. Anyway, the cat ran off and it's also got mud in the bathroom. That's how, it's <laughs> just like, oh, come on, man. It's like 10 at night. I just want to go to bed. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, then we have gets kicked out, which is like, yeah, like you need to leave. And then we finally have, I was going to put like probably going to die if I was their roommate, but instead I just wrote down CSI. So it's like an episode of crime scene investigations where it's like, it's like, well, this person was murdered in the kitchen and <laughs> just face down. I'm just face down dead from whatever one piece character did it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, Thank you, everybody. Thank you, True King. Thank you so much for the super sticker. First time. Yeah, it tells you when you're like the first time donator or first time, uh, you know, contributor. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, Zoro gets kicked out for not showering often. I feel like Zoro would shower. I feel like Zoro would shower. But uh, we got to get into it because, yeah, we're like five minutes in and we got we got stuff to do today. Okay. So I always have a habit of putting Luffy... First and foremost, whenever I do these tier lists, 
Uh, just because Luffy, you know, he's the main character of the story and he's a good metric for how this goes. Oh, by the way, um, I also will add or subtract various tiers depending on how they go. Like, we might not use all of these tiers, so I might remove them later. If anybody has any ideas for better tiers as we go, I can rename them or add some. We'll, we'll rearrange that. This is a collaborative effort. Here's how we do it. All right. Luffy would be a bit much. Uh, Luffy would be a lot to live with, guys. Like, Luffy would literally be jumping off the walls constantly, or he would be demanding meats. He does not cook, and whenever he does cook, it is straight up sludge. It is poison. When Luffy, like, you'll show up after work, and Luffy will be there with this big trough of just nonsense. Like, he just grabbed, like, he just dumped a whole bottle of soy sauce, and then a whole thing of ketchup, and then he dumped a whole bunch of, like, flour in it, and he's just rolling it, and it, like, here's some, <laughs> here's some, uh, some random spices I just took out of the cabinet. Here's, and I baked it in the oven at, like, five. 500 degrees for 20 minutes. Here's Luffy's surprise junk loaf. <laughs> like, it'd just be like, oh god, no. <laughs> Luffy would be awful. He would eat all of the food. You would you would get home and there would just be nothing in the fucking fridge. And it'd be like, no, worse than anything, he would eat your food. You know, he would you would be like, you would get home and you would have some food from like a restaurant, like a sandwich or some Chinese food or something, and you would clearly take out a Sharpie and you would write on the box like mine, you know, don't eat. And you would put that in the fridge and then you go to work the next day. You'd be like, man, I can't get home. I'll, I'll get home and I'll eat that for dinner. And you get home and it's just gone. And Luffy's I'm like, what did you do? And just like, uh, nothing. I just, uh, I was gone when I, you must've eaten it by accident. I didn't eat anything. <laughs> just, just, oh my God. Uh, you know, yeah. I would like them on Spotify. I could put these up on Spotify. You would never be bored, though. Luffy would be fun to hang out with, but, like, would he ever pay rent? He's a pirate. He doesn't pay rent. All of these pirates on here don't pay rent. I'm not paying all the rent if you're living with me, you know? Oh... He wouldn't clean. He would eat all the food. Three out of ten roommate for Luffy. Yeah, he's he's not the greatest roommate. Um, all right. So I'm gonna put Luffy at awful right now. I I would feel like I would feel bad about kicking him out. I mean, I well, I would actually no. I feel like after a while, after he's eaten all my food for like the fifth time, I feel like kicking him out at that point would probably be very apt. Um, Luffy would just give you an IOU. Yeah, he would like he would just like put an IOU on the uh, the landlord's like like uh, table or whatever. And just like IOU rent, Luffy. <laughs> Some of those words not spelled correctly. Um, yeah, I don't think it would be, it wouldn't be crime scene investigation. I wouldn't murder Luffy, but I would want to at times. At times, I would want to. But he has that energy. See, here's the thing though. Luffy has that charisma. Mihawk said it best. He has that charisma to just get people to like him. So even his enemies kind of ended up liking him. So I think that would keep him from getting kicked out just because like, damn it, Luffy, you ate my food for the seventh time in a row and you don't pay rent and you're a complete slob. But like, damn, you are an interesting fella to hang out with. <laughs> you, know, you know, like, yeah, there you go. So he is awful. He is awful. But the charisma does help him a little bit. Yeah. Uh, he would put the treasure, he would all, yeah, he would just write my, put it on my treasure tab. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, Mihawk didn't have to live with him, though. That would be a complete, yeah, all right. Listen, there is a difference between being friends with somebody and living with them. I, I, okay, I am very fortunate because I've never, well, like, I, like, right after I moved out of my parents' place, I got this place. Okay, I saved up from YouTube from years and years and years because I didn't want to go and like move into an apartment, then move into a bigger apartment, then get like a small house. And then like, I just wanted to save up and get a nice place to live. Okay, and that's what I did. Um, you know, so th but anybody that's had situations where they were friends with somebody and then they thought, oh, man, this would be really cool for this person to be a roommate. And then you move in with them. Maybe it works out sometimes, but I think a lot of times it would also be like, oh, I can't stand living with this person. Or maybe it's just like, no, this isn't going to work out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the landlord would hate him. 
construction companies would hate him. He'd be putting holes in the walls every day. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we'll we'll leave Luffy there right now. I'm I'm tentative. He might go down. We don't know. We don't know. Uh all right, who's next? Kizaru. All right, Kizaru, he would spend most of the time just hanging out smoking weed, which if you it's like if this is like a Harold and Kumar situation, you know what I mean? If you're just like both potheads and you're hanging out on the couch all day and just smoking weed. I mean, somebody's eventually got to cook some food. I mean, somebody's eventually got to work. But you know what? Harold and Kumar, they they were living okay. You know, they were all right. I uh, needed to listen to something during work, so this is perfect timing. Welcome, Stump. Yeah. Um, But, you know, also, Kizaru dresses very nice. It's not like Kizaru is like... uh you know, a slob or something like that. He has his fine suits. He goes to work every day. He works. Then he comes home and he smokes like a little some sum on the couch and just watches Netflix. You know what I mean? Like that's what he does. Um, I, I don't think, I don't think he is that messy. We saw his office. He, he, he trims his fingernails. He's trimming his fingernails. So he keeps, he keeps his personal hygiene very clean. Yeah. Now, yeah, now listen, I don't smoke weed. So if I'm hanging out with somebody and my friends smoke weed, fine. But like if I'm living with somebody and the whole house just smells like weed constantly and there's weed trays like on the coffee table, like that would probably bug me. That would bug the shit out of me. That'd be like, I don't like this, this, like, I don't like this crap all over the place. It's getting weed all over the countertops. I don't like this. Yeah, you know I mean, that would be me because I'm kind of a clean freak, to be honest with you. But uh, he, he keeps things clean. He's better than Luffy. I, I I think I guess we could say kind of messy just from the weed smokage, you know, just from that. And like there's bongs laying around and like there's like little weed trays and then there's part like chopped up and you know, you're always finding weed on the counter or on the floor. And it's just like little scraps of it, little bits of it. And I'm like, ah, I have to keep sweeping this up. Yeah. I never need to pay for my lights, though. Well, he doesn't control electricity. He just controls lights. So he would still have to pay for electricity. He could just keep it in his room. Yeah, but will he? Will he, though? The big screen TV is in the living room. You know he's going to be in the living room, on the couch. And I don't want to be that kind of roommate. I don't want to be like, you're only allowed to do this in your... Yeah, no. he. Uh, yeah, I don't think this would work. <laughs> my weed stays in one room oh wow okay he would make some good brownies though that's right yeah he would be creepy sometimes maybe sometimes yeah <laughs> we leaving weed crumbs everywhere um okay brooke now here's the deal with brooke he's going and brooke achieves so many things on these tier lists you know, Brooke, Brooke was like one of the top influencers on, on the Instagram one, you know, only beaten by like all the sexy ladies of One Piece. Cause obviously, but, uh, Brooke would be one of the best roommates though. He is a skeleton. Like just from that alone, I don't need to go into further detail. He's a skeleton roommate. Imagine you're hanging out with your friends at a bar somewhere and you're like, dude, my roommate is a fucking skeleton who walks and talks and plays guitar. It'd be like, what? And then you go over there and then Brooke would pop out of a closet. And it'd be, it would just be like a fake skeleton and be like, that's not a, that's not a roommate. No, 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 no. Oh God. <laughs> you can mess with your friends all the time. It would be so fun. It would be so much fun to have a talking skeleton as your roommate. He wouldn't, he doesn't need to worry about personal hygiene. I mean, he does shower. He would shower, but he's a skeleton. He's a skeleton. I guess there would be Afro hairs everywhere, but no, there isn't because he doesn't grow new hair. His Afro's there. It's very sturdy. It has very thick roots. It's fine. It's fine. Missed my last super chat. Sending my lawyer. Yeah, with super chats with these ones, I, I'll I'll keep track of them as best as I can, but I have to get through all of these characters, so I might miss some of them. Sorry. And he gets free music. He just chills. He just just hangs out on the couch, strumming his guitar. You got great music. 
I'm sure he's a good cook. I think Brooke is a decent cook. Brooke is a decent cook. He has money from all of his gigs. He's in a band, basically. It'd be like you hanging out with a uh, a roommate that's in a band, but he's a skeleton. Yeah. And you save money on food. He doesn't need to eat. Well, okay, he does, he does like to eat, though. He doesn't need to eat, but he does like to eat. I would feel bad if I'm just like, I'm just buying food just for me. I'm never buying food for Brooke. Hey, Brooke, I came back from McDonald's. Uh, I only got some for me, though, because you don't need to eat. <laughs> it's just like, but I like to eat. It's like, yeah, I know, but I just bought a Big Mac for me. You can have a fry. It's like, now nah, I would still buy him food. I got to go for a job interview. Well, good luck. Brooke would invite his friends over, and then you could just hang out with the Straw Hats. I mean, yeah, we could just do that logic that all the Straw Hats are going to hang out together, and then all piled into my apartment together. I don't know how I'd feel about that, actually. That would be very cramped, maybe. For the sake of this argument, we're going with, like, a basic apartment. So we're talking about, like, a decently sized living room, kitchen area, and then one, uh, two bedrooms. One for you, one for your roommate. Uh, we'll, we'll, you know what, we'll even make it nice. We'll make it two bathrooms. Because I've been in some apartments and stuff where there's only one bathroom, and yeah, that's it's a thing, right? It's it's a total thing. So we'll we'll be nice and we'll give them both their own bathrooms. All right, it's a decently sized apartment. Yeah, he is like nine feet tall. Yeah, he is like nine feet tall. Maybe the afro hits the ceiling every now and then, but yeah, he'll be okay. Uh, Brooke would either throw too many parties or always be bothered because he's been alone for 30 years. I don't know. Like, he doesn't seem that clingy with the straw hats. Yeah, he was alone for 50 years, but he's not constantly clinging around them. There was that one filler episode where he kind of did that, though. What does CSI mean? Look it up. <laughs> it means crime scene investigation. It's, it's, it's like a murder scene. It's a show. Yeah. I, no, not all the not all the villains are going to be bad roommates. Case in point, let's talk about Crocodile. So Crocodile as a roommate, I mean, he's a very clean guy. He takes showers. Even Oda has confirmed that he takes regular showers. Uh, he eats fine food. He's into fine dining. So, you know, he probably Crocodile seems like the kind of guy to me that'd be like, you got nothing in the fridge. Guess I have to go out and get some decent food to have some good meal tonight. He would go out and get like flaming yawn and he'd cook it up and he'd be like, okay, here, you know, sand everywhere. He's not, ma he's made of sand, but he doesn't like sprinkle sand wherever he walks. That's not how Logias work. You know, you'll find sand anywhere. Guys, was rain dinners filled with sand? Was the dining room where he was eating the meal just covered in sand? All right. He, I mean, if he wants to be a dick, he could do that, but he can control his sand. All right. It's not like when Crocodile's asleep, he just wakes up and his bed is just covered in sand. Uh, there would be no sand. He would be very proper. Yeah. Like, like every time Crocodile gets done walking around, he takes off his boots and it's just like, no, he smokes. Okay. You're right. He does smoke. That's not, that's going to, that is going to dock him some points. Now here's the thing though. Would Crocodile have the manners to go outside and smoke or would Crocodile be the kind of dude that he's like just in the middle of the fucking kitchen and just lights up a cigar and just blow a smoke cloud right in your face. Because here's the thing. He is, I, I feel like he, he cleans, he dresses well. He's probably a good cook. But he also has a very, he's very arrogant. He's very arrogant. And I don't think he would really care too much about you being the roommate. I don't think he would care that you're there with him. You know, he would be like, hey, you know, stay out of my way. Keep to your room, pay your side of the rent, and we won't have any problems. But he's gonna very he's gonna think very lowly of you. Yeah. He would definitely be smoking indoors. You don't tell him where to smoke. Yeah, that is kinda that is kind of the attitude with him. It's that attitude of like, you don't fucking tell me where to smoke my cigars. You know, I'm smoking my cigars, you know? So yeah, that would be a problem. Uh 
Actually, it's the opposite. When he's taking a shower, he can't turn into sand. Oda actually specifically clarified this in a fucking SBS once. If he's taking a shower, when he's water on him, he can't turn into sand. That's his literal weakness. But he still takes showers because he's not going to walk around dirty. So it's like, he, he basically Oda said, like, if he was attacked in the shower, he'd be, he would have good enough reflexes in order to fight back. You know, like, he's not just gonna, like, he is technically weakest in the shower, but he also knows that's when he's the most vulnerable. So, he's, like, aware of his weakness. Um. So, I feel like, I would say kind of messy. But I feel like I almost need to have another category here. Like, a category of, like, uh, because kind of messy is a very specific thing. Over Kizaru, though. Yeah. Exactly. Annoying. Oh, we need, like, just an annoying tier. Okay, yeah. Um, do we want to replace kind of messy with just annoying? Do we want to just do that? <laughs> do we want to do annoying? Or do we want to have a new tier? Or just a category for smokers? <laughs> well, how many people are smokers on this list? We got Kizaru, we got Crocodile, we got Sanji. Smoker, obviously. Is Smoker on the list? Did I put Smoke? Yeah, he's on the list. Yeah. We could do... I'm almost like this almost right now. Like... Kizaru would definitely maybe be an okay roommate if he kept all the weed smoking to his bedroom if he was... But I think he would, maybe. I, I don't think he would be that rude. A crocodile would be more rude and arrogant than Kizaru. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, there are a lot of people that smoke on here now. I'm actually looking at it, yeah. Yeah, Shiryu. Yeah. We'll keep it. We'll keep it with that right now. See where it goes. Okay, who's next? Buggy. I I can't. If it's just me and Buggy hanging out, right? There's not an entire crowd of people for him to impress. Like I'm the greatest pirate in the world, Buggy. It's just you and me here. We're just hanging out. You don't need to act like you're the best. What if Buggy opens up to me and Buggy's like, everybody thinks I'm awesome. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just trying not to die. I'm just trying to make it in the pirate world. You know, it's it's all right, man. It's okay. I understand. I understand, dude. <laughs> I kind of want to put Buggy in very solid territory. <laughs> I think we would. I think we would hang out well together. I think Buggy would just be like, man, Buggy, you don't have to put up a facade when you're behind closed doors. Just. We could just hang out and play some PlayStation, dude. You don't need to act like you're better than everyone else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You get to say I live with a clown. He's like, oh, what's your roommate? I live with a clown. I live with a literal clown. Uh, I think Buggy would be solid. I think you'd get along with Buggy. I really do. I think he would keep up with the rent. I don't think he'd be a gourmet chef or anything, but like, okay, listen. If you can cook eggs and sausage and, like, know how to use the fucking stove. Like, if you can use, you can make, like, frozen fries or frozen fish sticks or frozen shrimp. Like, if you're that level of cook, then you're fine. You can make a frozen pizza. Like, dude, if I could just get home from work and Buggy's there and he's like, Hey, man, I threw in a frozen pizza. I threw it in DiGiorno in the oven. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. You want to play some fucking, I don't know, some some hell divers? I'd be like, yeah, sure, why not? Like, that wouldn't be bad. That would be fine, you know? Like, yeah. Damn, I'd be a great roommate by your standards. Yeah, no, yeah, no, fine. I'm okay with that. Every now and then, because I, I love to cook, but most of the time, like, if I'm just hanging out and I'm like, I don't feel like cooking, I'll just throw some frozen shrimp or something in the in the, in the the oven, you know? I kind of stay away from copious amounts. Like, I don't drink, I don't, I don't, not drink, but I don't use, like, uh, like instant ramen and stuff like that. My diet doesn't consist of instant ramen. I, I went through a pizza roll phase in college. I was a big pizza roll fan for a while there. Most of my meals consisted of pizza rolls for a disturbing amount of time there. 
But that was my college years. Yeah. I'd put him in never does anything. Nah, he would. I think he would. I think he'd be a pretty solid roommate. He's too insecure about his nose. Yeah, I wouldn't bring it up. Like, if I was living with somebody that had, like, a scar or, like, a birthmark on their face that they were a little bit, like, self-conscious of, I'm not gonna make fun of it. I'm not gonna bring it up. Why would I make fun of his nose if it's something he's self-conscious about? I'm not an asshole, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, what's next? Cavendish! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cavendish. Wait a minute. Cavendish has a split personality of a serial killer. So, yeah, it would be CSI. It would be... I think... Dude, okay. All right. <laughs> he would be... He's a serial killer. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the deal. You move in. You got your box of shit. You move into your apartment. Cavendish is there. And he's this sparkly dude. And he's like, oh, welcome. You're my new roommate. Well, here is your room. Here is the kitchen. Uh, try not to make too much noise. I like to get my beauty sleep. Um, you, you think he's a little pompous. You're maybe not 100% sure about this guy, but he seems nice enough. He might have a lot of house rules. Like, he's very, he's a neat freak. He's very OCD with that. But overall, he seems like a little weird, but a little bit of an okay guy. Then you go to bed. And then at about 3 o'clock in the morning, you hear your door creak open. And you kind of look up and you don't see anything. You're like, what the hell is that? And then you go back down and you close your eyes. And then you open them and Hakuba is just over you, stabbing you repeatedly with a sword. <laughs> and you would last about one night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just barricade your door and cry silently whenever he's asleep. Yeah, just do that. That's perfectly fine to ask of somebody. You just got to chain him up every time you go to bed. Oh, man. Yeah, he's dead. He, I mean, he, I mean, he would kill me. I, yeah. CSI is, I guess, implying like either they would kill me or I would eventually snap and kill them, I guess. All right. Um, what's next? Oh, Katakuri. Katakuri would make some damn nice donuts. It would have to be a big apartment because Katakuri is like, you know, I don't even know how many meters, like seven meters taller. He's a really tall guy. Um, but Katakuri would make amazing donuts. I mean, like in general, I feel most of the Charlotte family has to be good at cooking. Like... Kata Curry is the minister of uh, Komugi Island, of Flower Island. There's a lot of stuff that requires flour to be cooked. Like a crap load of food comes from flour. So, you know, he'd be great at making bread. He'd be great at making donuts. He's chilling. I mean, yeah, and once again, he's self-conscious about his mouth. I'm not going to make fun of his mouth. I'm not going to be like, hey, welcome home, stitch face. <laughs> it's just like, I'm not an asshole. I don't want to die. You know what I mean? So I'd, I'd, I'd very solid, maybe. <laughs> like, he'd be making good baked goods. Yeah. He'd always bring the snacks. He would be there with a pack of mochi and, like, mochi ice cream and, like, jelly beans. He would have the snacks. He'd be good. I can see him. I don't know why, but I'm just imagining Kata Curry decorating for Halloween. I don't know why. I just thought of that. Like, he puts on the face makeup, and he's putting up all the Halloween decorations. He's got a big bowl of jelly beans and all this candy to give the kids. You know? Like, I, th I think Kata Curry would be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Kata Curry is S-tier roommate. You think Kata Curry is best roommate? Let's let's do a poll. Let's take it to the poll. Why not? Start a poll. Is Kata Curry best roommate? Yeah. Yes or no? Let's go. There it is. First poll of the day. Per first poll of the stream. I love teching. I love teching. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that, Isaac. Have a kainu and kata curry at the same time. Would love to see him eating a kainu. <laughs> uh, 
Yes. A lot of people are saying yes, man. Pretty clean. Can see. Oh, he can see the future, too. He can see the future. He could be like, dude, Kata Curry would be so nice. He would be like, dude, I saw the future. Uh, the landlord's coming down the way. Do you have the, uh, do you have the rent? And he's like, oh shit, that's right. I forgot to write out the check. It's like, okay. And then the landlord's here and he's just like, oh, I was here for the check. Oh, I got it right here for you, sir. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right. Have a good day. Be like, boom, done. Kata Curry would be like, hey, it's garbage night and you forgot to take out the trash. Oh, that's right. You know, or maybe he would take out the trash for you. I think he's nice. I think he would do that. Yeah. Kata Curry would see the future and he would know, oh, Matt's going to forget to take out the trash tonight. It's okay. I got it. He usually remembers. It's fine. Yeah, the, 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 the apartment would have to adjust to the size of the people living in it. So it would be a nice big apartment. Or maybe it's a house at that point. Like we have to rent a house out. Still roommate, same deal. Townhome, apartment, roommate, depending on how big the person is. My mom is visiting tomorrow. Okay, don't worry. I'm here. Oh, God, that would be rough. That would be rough. I feel like Kata Curry would be nice, though. I feel like Kata Curry would be like, you'll never have to meet my mom. Don't worry. I'll go visit her. She'll don't. Yeah, no. I, I don't think I would have that problem because I'm pretty good at remembering chores and taking out the trash and doing dishes. I just got my laundry done today. So I'm I'm pretty good on top of chores. Remove Brooke. Oh, no, no, no. Best roommates can be more than one here. This isn't like uh, this. Some of the some of the tier lists I make, it's only one person at the top. But in this case, I feel like you could have multiple best roommates. Magic school bus. All right, what's next? Oh, Pero Sparrow. Kata Curry's older brother. This was a random. They were like, I kind of scrambled them up down there and it, it just ended up Paro Sparrow being next to Kata Curry. Okay, Paro Sparrow. Oh, uh, annoying. <laughs> Very annoying. Dude, Paro Sparrow, first of all, that fucking tongue is always going to be getting shit moist. That tongue is going to be, everything's either going to be covered in saliva or covered in sticky candy goo. And if there is one fucking thing that I despise, it is anything that is sticky. If I go, like, my mom loves to bake, right? And so one day she was baking with a lot of stuff, and I guess she got some, like, like, uh, like sugar or some kind of frosting, and, like, she touched a cabinet. And I went downstairs to open the cabinet, and I got, like, sticky candied goo on my hands. And I'm like, oh, no, no, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. You know, it's like, so no. No, awful. He's awful. He's awful. He's up. No, you know what? He doesn't have the charisma of Luffy. I'm kicking him out. I'm kicking him out. I couldn't stand it. Yeah, he would be so annoying. The tongue and the candy goo, everything would be covered in a sheen of sticky substance. No matter how many times I cleaned, it would be awful. Ants everywhere. Oh, God. I just had ants last year. There were ants all over my hard drive. No. No, we're not dealing with that crap. We're not dealing with ants getting all over the house. And unlike, you know, like, okay, he's not a Logia. You know, like, Crocodile is a Logia. He'll keep his sand in check, okay? Kata Curry's not going to have everything covered in mochi. Paro Sparrow's not going to care. Paro Sparrow's going to have candy everywhere. I know, he's going to... He has a candy arm. He has a candy arm! Every time he opens the fridge with his fucking candy arm, it's going to be covered in candy. It's going to be covered in melted licorice every time. But he can control it. Not when his hand is made of candy! <laughs> And you know he would be using that candy hand to open everything. Yeah, no, I'm kicking him out. I'm kicking him out or I'm, I'm murdering him. One or the other. Yeah, he's gotta go. All right, T-Bone. <laughs> T-Bone. Um, are we all okay with putting T-Bone at the top of best roommates? <laughs> this is the fastest the top of the tier has. I would be okay with all of like Brooke, T-Bone, and Kata Curry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I always enjoy your videos. Thank you, Haskita. He is so kind. Dude, 
T-Bone would have everything done for you. Like, I wouldn't even need to do anything. Like, if I was T-Bone's roommate, I would move in, and he would just be like, Oh, welcome, friend. Let me show you your room. I warmed up the sheets for you. I mean, it would be a little creepy, but it's like, I warmed up the sheets for you so they were nice and fluffy and warm, and I prepared this lovely lunch for both of us. I'm like, okay. And then I wake up, I wake up kind of late in the morning. I wake up around, like, I woke up around 9.30 this morning. I would wake up, and there would already be, like, a full course you know, continental breakfast prepared on the table, like bacon and scrambled eggs with cheese and, and, and sausage and perfectly toasted toast and, and, and like a stack of pancakes. And it'd be like, I prepared breakfast for you when you woke up. I'm like, thank you, t <laughs> you know, Like, Jesus, you're so nice, t -Bone. You're so kind. You're always there for me, t -Bone. Uh... <laughs> Oh man, he would pick up. He would pick up your work shift if you called off. He would stay home with you if you were sick. Be like, I have a little tickle in my throat today, T Bone. I'm sorry. <clears throat> He's like, Oh my dear, lay down. I will take care of you. <laughs> Here's a cold compress. Here's a thermometer. I will have none of that now. You will stay in this room. He he would go out and buy you like like a freaking what are those things that not a dehumidifier like um oh what are those things that like missed your room whenever you're sick. I've never used one ever since I, I had one when I was a little, little kid. My dad would use one. Uh, I forget what they're called though, but he would have one of those. Like it would just be, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Someone with that's a vaporizer. That's it. Yeah. He would like, he would go out and was like, do we have a vaporizer? I will go out and buy a vaporizer, have a vaporizer. <laughs> yeah. He would be like, Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Yes. Thank you. T-Bone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, someone so nice can be tiring sometimes because I feel like I need to pay back. I would also need a roommate with someone who isn't bothered with my existence. Yeah, you know, I'm like that. I am like that where I've like, if he prepared dinner for me, like if he prepared like three meals every day, which you know, he would after a while, I would feel bad about that. After about a day, I, like two days of that, I would be like, T-Bone, you don't need to worry about me. You don't, I can make my own food. I can prepare my own meal. You don't need to take time out of your day to make food for me. You don't need to take time out of my day to make sure my laundry's done. You don't need to take time. Like, that's my responsibility. We're roommates. We're room. He would pay my side of the rent for me, for God's sake. That's how much T-Bone cares. He wouldn't even like, I will have none of it. I will take on the, I make good money. I will pay the rent. And I'd be like, T-Bone. We're roommates, which means it's equality. It means I do, I pay half the rent, you pay half the rent. That, like, I would have to get into, a, like, an argument with him over not paying the full rent price. Because I would feel bad. I would feel so bad. I'd be like, I can afford, I can pay some of the utilities. I can make the food some nights. Yeah. Yeah, T-Bone would start cleaning your room for you, and it would start to get weird. Yeah. I think I might have to, I'm sorry, T-Bone, listen, it would, boundaries, boundaries, bro, boundaries, excuse me, have to exist when you're a roommate, you know, the way of the house husband, <laughs> yeah, I think it might be, I think T-Bone might be a little much, now that I actually am starting to think about all the stuff he would do for you, because he is, he is comically altruistic, he is comically generous, yeah, 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 you know, T-Bone cooks, I clean. Like, we would have to work that out, though, because he would insist on doing everything. He would insist on cooking and cleaning and taking care of everything. We would have to be like, listen, you could cook, I'll clean. Or then I clean the next day, or I cook the next day, and then you clean. You know, like, we could work it out. And it's like, and also, T-Bone, this is my bedroom. This is, like, this is my responsibility to take care of my laundry and my sheets and make sure my room is vacuumed and clean. You, you, it's not your responsibility to make sure my room is clean. I appreciate the sentiment, but if I ever need help with something, I will come to you. But, you know, it has to, we have to have boundaries here, man. Yeah. Personally, I wouldn't mind Shanks being my roommate. Uh, would he turn you into a, a bro? What would you, oh. Oh, to turn you in if you broke a minor, like, law. Like, if you, like, like, if you accident, well, he might. That's the thing, like. He might throw a thing out, like, if you throw the trash out on the wrong day. Like, you put the wrong thing in the recycling bin. You know what I mean? Like, if you throw, like, a, a, a plastic bottle in the trash instead of the recycling bin, would he be like, I had to contact the, the, the landlord about this? <laughs> it's just like, okay. 
Yeah, T-Bone is the law. T-Bone is the law. All right, who's next? We got Doc Q. Doc Q. A sickly... Okay, he's not an old man. He's younger than I am. He's like 27. No shit. He's like 27 or 28 years old. No, actually, I think he's 29. I think he's 29. CIA, yeah, CSI. I think you'd be CSI because I think you just move in with him and he's just... <laughs> And then it turns out you have the, like, your entire house is not even CSI. It's, it's fucking like, um, it's like CDC almost. <laughs> it's like CDC, an outbreak of the Black Plague started in your apartment, like, like somehow. Yeah. You know, the, the, the people, the hazmat suit guys have to show up and corner off your entire apartment. Because a strain of, a strain of the flesh-eating virus just appeared in your, in your bathroom. Oh, man. Quarantine level threat. Doc Q might be the worst so far. Yeah. Like the movie Wreck. Yeah, it would be like Record. It would be like Wreck or it would be like, like uh, what was the, oh, what was the um, Quarantine? So like, uh, yeah, yeah, the English version of that movie was just Quarantine. Yeah. I will be patient zero for a new strain of flesh eating virus. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. I never know where to put Drake on here. Drake is always just, like, the blandest character to me. <laughs> like, he can turn into a dinosaur. Cool. Please don't turn into a dinosaur in the fucking apartment. All right? Like, but, like, what else does he do? Like, he's fine, I guess. Perfectly fine, average, regular-ass roommate, I guess. He's just Drake. It's just like, hey, man, I'm your new roommate. He's like, oh, okay. Uh, trash is Monday nights. Uh, rent is blah, blah, blah. You know, make sure to recycle. Uh, I usually go to bed around 1030, so don't be too loud after that. Otherwise, okay. Like, all right. Okay. I'll go. I'll go unpack. All right. We'll go out to dinner somewhere after this. All right, cool. <laughs> like, there you go. Yeah. Oh, he's an undercover cop. Oh, that's an interesting way to look at it. He's an undercover cop. All right. Yeah. He likes astrophysics. Yeah, we can talk about that. We can talk about space. I, I have a few books on astrophysics. We'll watch episodes of, like, Cosmos or watch episodes of, like, Neil deGrasse. We'll watch Star Talk together. Hey, do you, uh, what podcast do you listen to? I listen to Star Talk with Neil. I'm like, oh, I do too. I'm like, okay, we can talk about that then. We can talk about that. Perfectly fine. Okay, roommate. I'll, I'll be all right with Drake. Yeah. I'd be okay with Drake. We go up on the roof of the apartment and look at the stars. We go down the balcony and look at the... He has, a, he has a telescope. We go out and look. He has a pretty nice telescope. We go look at that. Teaches me about astrophysics and space and whatnot. That'd be pretty neat. Yeah. There's a lot of people that don't know what CSI means, and I'm just going to leave that to be... Uh, crab, shrimp, and... Um, uh, what's, a, what's a fish that's... What's a seafood that starts with the letter I? We could just do, like, crab, shrimp, and whatever. Buffet. How romantic. That reminds me of in Baldur's Gate 3 when you, if you romance Gale all the way, he takes you to his tower in Waterdeep. He makes like an illusion of his tower in Waterdeep and you get to like look at like the stars with him. Yeah. He probably likes Star Wars or Star Trek. Yeah, probably. I'm not a huge Star Trek guy, but I'll watch some episodes with Drake. Sure. Inagi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inagi. So it's, it's the crab, shrimp, and Inagi. There you go. Yeah. All right, who's next? All right, Doe Flamingo. All right, all right, all right, all right. Listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up. You want to just say he would kill me, right? But no, let's let's explore this option with with Doe Flamingo here, okay? Let's explore these options. Um, Doe Flamingo would be running a criminal organization on the side. He's basically a mafia boss who is for whatever reason undercover as my roommate. <laughs> so it's probably a nice house that he's renting or something. No, Del Flamingo does not smell like feet. You guys, you guys think a lot of villains in One Piece just don't shower or use deodorant. Like I feel like Del Flamingo keeps up with his personal hygiene. It's going to be a nice beach house. Yeah. 
So Doe Flamingo would here's what would happen. I would either get kicked out or or I would end up involved in his criminal empire somehow. Like he would be using me as like a gopher. Or he would use me as like a way to like launder money or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Like that would that would be like what Doflamingo's ultimate scheme would be. Something like that. I don't know if he would just kill me. I don't think he would just murder me. If we're roommates together, outright murder, like on the first night, like I don't think he would. Yeah. He'd frame you for a crime or something. Like, yeah, I would be the fall guy. Yeah. I guess I'll go awful roommate because he you you move in with him and you can tell this guy is he's involved in some he's into some shady shit. Like you pretty much know immediately. He like he's like, "Yeah, welcome. This is my room. You go in there." <laughs> well, <laughs> you're not going to go in my room, right? You're not going to go in my room. So we're not going to have to worry about what would happen if you did go in my room cuz you're not going to go in my room, right? Yeah, of course. It's your room. I don't I don't see why I would go in there. Yeah, right. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Rinse due on the 1st. <laughs> you know, like, uh, okay. He's up all night. He has he keeps weird hours. He's leaving at like two in the morning and then coming back at four in the morning. It's like, what are you up to? You know, what are you doing? Oh, don't you mind me. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. Uh, Viola's swinging by the apartment. Oh, God. Uh, okay, who's next? Neko Mamushi. I've never owned a cat. Now, I wouldn't, I'm not saying I would own Neko Mamushi. He's a person. But I've never had a cat living with me. So imagine all of the problems of having a cat, but star in 365 days. That's the plot of a Wattpad web novel. Oh, that, that would be a fun little story. Th me, 365 days living with Doe Flamingo. Yeah, someone needs to write that. But cat hair, cat hair everywhere, hairballs everywhere. Uh, oh man, a lot of cat stuff. A lot of cat, giant cat toys. Giant cat toys. Giant boxes. Uh, Neko would be so destructive. <laughs> the whole house would just, he would have a giant scratching post that shush, shush, it would sound like a freaking chainsaw whenever he's using that thing. Oh man. I don't have cat allergies. At least I don't think I do. I don't think I've been around cats. And no, my, I had a friend that had a lot of cats and I never had any allergies. They had like six cats and I, I never got allergies when I was down at his place. But um, yeah, giant sandboxes. OK, look, what's the most annoying thing that a cat does? Because that imagine Neko doing that as like how, how tall is Neko Mamushi? He's a big cat. He's a huge cat. Oh, the owner will suffer the most. Knocks your stuff over, throwing up. Okay, well, imagine... How how tall is he? He does have a gun hand. Yeah. This is a 17-foot tall cat. 17 feet of cat. Oh my god. He would knock over the television. He would knock over the couch. <laughs> it's like living with Clifford, the big red dog, except it's a cat. That's a big cat. Uh, <laughs> with a Gatling gun arm. Oh. <laughs> Feed me. Your meow. <laughs> 17 feet of anything. Yeah, Hackman, you said it best. 17 feet of anything is too much. I don't care what it is. 17 feet tabby cat. Um, I, uh, I, I'm going to say either never does anything because he's a cat. So either never does anything or awful roommate. Oh, God, they wake up at, like, 3 a.m. and do the zoomies. 
Oh my god, I would just be waking up to hearing like a bowling alley outside of my door. Ugh. He just knocks over the fr Sorry, I had to get up at 3 a.m. and run around last night. I knocked over the fridge. Not a big deal. You're now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the fur balls would come up to your knees. <laughs> Better than a 17-foot centipede. I don't know. I might want to prefer to live with a 17-foot centipede. <laughs> they are venomous. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I guess I would choose the cat over the venomous centipede i suppose oh man yeah no i'm sorry neko i'm sorry i'm sorry kitty cat all right all right yeah he has a gun arm too people are bringing up the gun arm i think the gun arm would be cool it's I, he wouldn't like shoot me but uh you know he's a giant cat guys this isn't gonna end well you know <laughs> all right frankie frankie would be an awesome roommate okay I don't like soda, but that's fine. He has like, hey, I checked out. I bought this soda machine. I'll put it in the kitchen. I'd be like, all right, fine. There would just be a soda. There would just be a vending machine in the kitchen. That would be fine with me, though. I'd be all right with that. I'd be okay with that. You know, um, I do drink soda very rarely, but every once in a while. But there's a fridge, and then there's like a vending machine next to it. That's okay. He could fix anything. Anything that breaks in this apartment or this house, he is fixing. The, the the fridge breaks, he's got it fixed. The dishwasher, fixed. The uh, the table loses, you know, whatever. He fixed anything. The roof is leaking. Fixed, fixed, fixed. You know, done. You know. Frankie's a little bit of a frat boy, though. Okay, yeah, he is a little bit of a frat boy. It would be a little loud. It would be a little annoying. Um, But the positives outweighing the negatives here. And I think I really love Frankie as a character. But here's the thing. I like Frankie's character. Would I want to live with him, though? Would you want to live with Frankie, though? Because he could fix anything. But he is Frankie. <laughs> he also is walking around with a Speedo most of the time. I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like at a certain point, I feel like at a certain point, I would just be like, dude, put on some pants. Like, I'm seeing your the the, the, the banana hammock every single day. Put on some pants, please. <laughs> Frankie can cook. Frankie is a expert barbecuer. He would be outside with the like super expensive grill that he built himself probably. And he's out there like flipping burgers like at a summer barbecue. Oh God, it would be amazing. The burgers, the, 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 he would like slow cook an entire brisket over like, like the fresh coals or the wood chips or whatever. He would smoke an entire salmon you know, like, or an entire swordfish or something out there. Like, oh, man, he would be a barbecue expert. One of my neighbors has, like, a bunch of grills and, like, a smoker and, like, the wood chips. And, like, every day of the summer, he's out there cooking. And it always smells amazing. Uh... You know what? I'm going to say Frankie is going to be very solid. Just like how T-Bone is, you got to set some boundaries. But I think Frankie would listen to the boundaries. Like, Crocodile would not. Luffy would not. Doflamingo would not. Pero Sparrow would not. Frankie, I think, would respect boundaries after a while. You know? And he's got nipple lights! Oh, my goodness. Nipple lights. If you brought a girl home, she would probably freak out. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, she'd see the guy hanging out on the couch with the banana hammock and just be like, okay, I'm going to go now. No, you don't understand. He's a cyborg. <laughs> you don't understand. He has nipple lights too. <laughs> Teching, I can fix him 101. Okay, so having a roommate and setting boundaries, that's like fixing a human being. All right, cool. I didn't know that. That's good to know. Hey, man, don't uh, go into my room when I'm not here because that's not cool. Ah, you're trying to fix me. I'm like, nah, okay. Gotta wear pants, man. I don't want to wear pants. All right. Who's next? Bartolomeo. All right. So Bartolomeo would be the biggest One Piece fan in the entire world. He would talk about nothing but One Piece. Now, I know this is rich coming from me, but here's the deal. 
I don't talk about One Piece all the time. <laughs> I don't hang out in my living room and just think about One Piece constantly. Bartolomeo kind of does. And he also just pisses wherever. Bartolomeo would get drunk and piss in the fucking kitchen. Like, that would be Bartolomeo. Never I think Bartolomeo is our first never does anything. Yeah. He never does anything. He just hangs out and watches and just watches One Piece and reads One Piece and argues on the One Piece, like, Reddit. He goes on the forums and he's just, like, always yelling and arguing with people on the One Piece forums. <laughs> Why do you don't do that? Yeah. He's a weeb. He's a weeb, but he's also, like, he also just... He's just messy, and he also probably just doesn't take up after himself. I'll, I'll I'll put him in never does anything, yeah. All right. What's next? Oh, we got Eam next. Somebody said, I think Eam is just going to be a bit shy, honestly. <laughs> like, Eam is just like, hello, well, welcome to you got your rooms over there. Just, 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 you know, you just hang out. It's fine. <laughs> um, I, yeah, but the thing is, we Eames not like that though, because we got we got an impression of Eames' personality when they spoke to Cobra. Eames is very full of themselves. Eam is referring to themselves like I will not deem that necessary of a response. Deem talks. Uh, deem Eam talks um, in a very archaic fashion the best way to uh to do the parallel with english is he uses like these and thou's like thou arst a new roommate for my house my phone the humble homestead you know he speaks like these and thou's and kind of shit like that you know uh like old old middle english kind of shit um that would be annoying and he's very he very full of himself very egotistical he wouldn't do anything Obey me. Get out or die. Yes. Oh, he's very controlling. He's like the most controlling character. He's honestly the most controlling, manipulative character in all of One Piece, if we're being straight up here. Yeah. Um. What are we doing here? You think he would just straight up kill me? He would be a mute. No, they, they, they would speak. They, they can speak. Yeah. CSI. I think I would just be... A, I, you know what? You know what? It wouldn't be CSI. Because I would just cease to exist. They like... I received no roommate on this day. No roommate moved into my apartment on this day. <laughs> so I just wouldn't exist. I would be erased from history. CSI would show up. They would go over the entire apartment. They wouldn't find a trace of me. Be like, well, I guess he's not here. He's like, yes, he is not. <laughs> and, then he, and then they would leave. And they, I would just be a missing person. I would just disappear from history. Yeah. Matthew Crawford. No such person ever existed here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, now Inu Arashi. I'm more of a dog guy. All right. I've had dogs my whole life. We had a Cocker Spaniel named Max when I was a little kid. Then we had a little beagle named Lucky that we had up the way, all the way up. That was my childhood dog all the way up till I was in college. And then we had Duchess, and Duchess was the bestest boxer ever. Let me show you a picture of boxer of Duchess, just because she's so cute. Hold on a minute. Let's see. Let's see if we find out. We we'll find one here, Duchess. Aw, that was when she had the. That was when she had the coat of shame. Aw, she looked so sad. She was like, "No, why are you doing this to me? Why?" You can see her back paw there is covered in scar tissue. That's because uh, she had really bad allergies. That's part of the reason she had to wear the cone. Um, but she also had a surgery done right before this. Aw, poor Duchess. Yeah, she was the bestest dog. Um, so, dogs are great, but this is also a giant dog. This is like a big, big dog. But they do have big dogs, you know? Like my... Uh, I had a friend that had a dog that was a Mastiff. Huge dog named Bear, but very lovable. Very lovable dogs. Uh, let's see. Inu Arashi is probably similar height to Nekamamushi. 
And as we already stated, uh, 17 feet of anything is kind of too much. But it's a big doggo! It's a big doggo! Inuarashi is... Um... Do we not have a height for him? No, he's... Okay. He's slightly shorter than Nekamamushi. He's 16 feet 9 inches. All right. He's a good boy, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I could hang out with a giant dog. I think I could hang out with a giant dog more than I could with a giant cat. I, I just think... I just... <laughs> hanging out with Clifford the Big Red Dog... Uh, yeah, I think I'd be all right. I think I'd go walk. Inu Arashi would be like, I would like to go for a walk. I'd be like, all right, I'm not, I'm not putting you on a leash, but we could go for a walk. All right. <laughs> Cause you're going to, you'll rip my arm off, but yeah, we could go for a walk. Yay. 16 feet is not 17 feet. That is correct. That is how numbers work. You'll have to clean up after him. Nah, he's okay. Here's the. Nekamamushi could clean up his own shit. Inuarashi can clean up his own shit. The problem with Nekamamushi is that he would clean up his own stuff, but he would puke and throw up, and it's like, he, like Nekamamushi would puke all over the carpet, like a gallon of puke, and then he'd be like, oh, sorry, I'm gonna clean that up. <laughs> just like, okay, but still, not good. Uh, Inuarashi would just be like, I have to take a shit, and then he would go outside, maybe just, maybe just, he could use this to use the fucking toilet. You can just use a big ass toilet. Just get a huge, get an industrial sized toilet. You'll be fine. Yeah, I'm okay with. I'm okay, even if I have to clean up his massive shits. I'm okay with it. I love dogs. I'm okay with it. Yeah. The dog walkies would be crazy. <laughs> hey, if I'm ever walking with Inurashi and somebody tries to like rob me and just be like. Give me your wallet. I'd be like, I'm with my dog. He's going to beat you up. And he's like, yeah, fuck that. Give me my, give me your wallet. And then, the, you know, Rashi shows up behind the guy, <laughs> cracking his knuckles, charging up his electro, you know? He's <laughs> just like, oh, God. Cat person, and I'd prefer him as well. I would prefer living. All right, let's do that as a poll. Let's just do that as a poll really quick. Let's do a poll. Who would you prefer as a roommate? Neko Mamushi, giant cat, or Inu Arashi, giant dog. All right, here we go. Let's let's do it. Yeah. Anybody that's a cat owner out there, I think even the cat owners are probably like, okay, yeah, seventeen foot cat. That that's a little bit excessive. It's closer than I thought. 57, no, 58. No, no, no. It's going up. It's going up. It's going up. All right. It's going up. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Doggo. Doggy for the win. Yeah. Go, doggy. Yeah. How did your dog get a sword for a leg? Oh, he fought a mammoth. <laughs> he fought a mammoth. He is a good boy. He is a heckin' good boy. All right. He is, you know, Arashi is the bestest boy. He's so cute. All right, God. Okay. Ace. Ace is another one that, like, he's not going to be constantly lighting the shit on fire. He can control his Logia. You know, he's not going to be lighting the couch on fire. Although he is maybe a little bit of a fire hazard. The fire hazard shit does go up slightly. Because whenever, like, whenever he was making the Casa hats for ores, I think he kept getting pissed off and he kept lighting them on fire. So it shows that, like, if Ace can get really, if he gets really agitated, really frustrated, really pissed off, it's flame on a little bit there. So I think he has control over it most of the time. But if he ever, if something really pisses him off, like if we're playing a video game and I keep beating his ass at Madden or something and he gets really mad, and he's like, fuck this shit, and then it like, lights the couch on fire. I'd be like, oh my god! <laughs> uh, yeah. But he does good, he does have good manners. He does have good manners. Yes, he's very respectful. Uh, 
I don't know. Would you want to deal with like Ace's hectic lifestyle? It is rather, it is rather crazy. He would have your back. Ace is awesome. He's an outdoorsman. Yeah, he is. He's going to fall asleep in the, din- in the middle of a dinner conversation. Yeah, would I really mind that, though? I'm like, I'm having a conversation. It's like, yeah, so uh, what'd you do today? Ah, oh, well, you know, I went down to the gym. I was working out. Oh, that's cool. What are you doing? I was like, well, I'm doing the... <sighs> it, 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 you know what I mean? It'd be like, all right, well, good night. I'm going to finish my dinner and put all the food away, put the dishes away and clean them and go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I mean, he's definitely not annoying. I I put him in perfectly fine. He's perfectly fine. He might light the house on fire, but I'll make sure to have some fire extinguishers handy. He can also absorb fire. So if he lights something on fire, he can also absorb the fire. So the house probably wouldn't burn down, but it would be scorched a lot. Yeah. He's a portable toaster oven. That that's handy. If the power ever goes out, we'd be really handy. Yeah. He wears pants. He just wears shorts. He's fine. He dresses like like the crocodile hunter sometimes. I don't know. He'd be like like some yeah yeah fine. He steal your girl. That's fine. <laughs> Donuts. I wonder why. All right, who's next? Hawkins. Hawkins is like living with some new age hippie kind of person, right? Hawkins would be like ah yes. The tarot foretold of your arrival. It shows me the temperance card in reverse, which indicates that you will have great success in your life. Also, I am selling a variety of my crystals and my moon water. It is charged with the power of the moonlight from the last equinox. Will you truly... (laughs) Like, that would be annoying. That shit would be annoying. It's like you're moving in with, like, a cultist, all right? Uh, he would play Yu-Gi-Oh with you. He would also be very emo. Yeah. He would make voodoo. Yeah, yeah. If I ever look into his room and I see him stitching up a voodoo doll of me, I'm fucking out. I'm done. I'm done. I'll leave. I'm getting out of there at that point. You know. I'm. I'm gonna say gets kicked out or, or I'm leaving. I'm leaving. One of the two. Either they get kicked out or I'm leaving. I'm yeah. I'm telling you what, if I wake up, I see him stitching a fucking voodoo doll and he has all this crystal crap and everything. There's weird essential oil smell going on throughout the apartment. It's like, no, 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 that's we're not doing that. <laughs> Would that be the last straw? Yeah. He'd be running a medium tarot card reading business. Yeah. No, yeah. Part of the apartment would be like his, uh, a lot of psychics I've noticed, ha- like basically run a business out of their apartment. I know at least three businesses around here that are like psychics or tarot card readings that are almost always in like the upper floor of somebody's house or on like a side attachment, like somebody's garage that they turned into a shop. So that would basically be our apartment. Like our apartment would be partially a psychic. You know what I mean? Like, and I'd just be like, I'd be so uncomfortable with that. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this is also something else that Oda has confirmed. He never shaves his leg hair. Such a weird thing that Oda confirmed in an SBS. He His leg hair is super bushy. Never shaves it. I don't know if that's relevant or not, but, like, that's a thing. He's a super hairy dude. Yeah, if he's got hairy legs, he's also got a hairy chest. He's just a super hairy guy. Matthew, pick a card, any card. I'd be like, I'd rather not. Bushy legs. Real men don't shave. Why would that be relevant? I don't know if it would be relevant. It's just something I remembered about Hawkins' character. He's he's a very hairy guy. I just I'm trying to remember stuff that Oda did in SBSs, and that's that's a thing. Um he's jumping ship the moment a better roommate offer comes up. That is true too. But either way, he's either moving out or I'm moving out. One of the two. No, I don't mean, I don't mean like, okay, look, I don't, okay. I'm going to show you my legs here for a second. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have hairy legs. So if I see somebody that has like super hairy legs, I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Because I just do not have hairy legs. All right. So that's, that's where that comes from. There you go. You saw my legs. 
attacking's legs. Uh, I'm sorry, I maybe gotten people too excited there for a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get people to calm down here. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, Tekking's leg reveal. Yep, that shit was shining. Yeah, I don't shave my legs either. They're just naturally like that. Scandalous. Yeah, dude, it's just one voodoo doll of you. Come on. <laughs> Only legs. <laughs> All right, what's next? Uh, oh, Daz Bones. All right, Daz Bones is a bounty hunter that can turn into knives. But beyond, I mean, like, he's a bounty hunter. He's like Dog the Bounty Hunter. You know what I mean? He's he's a bounty hunter. Bounty hunters are th are people that like that doesn't necessarily have to be like a criminal enterprise. Bounty hunting is a thing that's legit. You can get I think a license to be a bounty hunter. There was a whole show about a guy that was a bounty hunter. You know? Yeah, he would never be home. He would probably be at work constantly. Yeah. I think he'd be perfectly fine. Perfectly fine roommate to me. I can't really imagine any reason like he would be annoying or he would do stuff around the house, sure. Dog the bounty hunter. There are bounty hunter licenses, yeah. So, yeah. Perfectly fine roommate. Uh, could chop... You could. Oh, you know what? I hate chopping up vegetables. He could take care of that in, like, done. Hey, uh, hey, Daz, I need an onion chopped. Okay. Done. Thank you. Like, there you go. I hate, I hate chopping vegetables. That's like the, like whenever I'm preparing meals, I'm like, okay, time to cut the onion, time to cut up the pepper, time to cut up the carrot, time to cut up the freaking asparagus or whatever. Like, it's always a thing. It's just busy work, you know? Okay. Spondum. <laughs> oh, spondum, spondum, spondum. Uh, he would just... He would just never do anything. He would just never do anything. I would have to do everything for him. I don't know if... Would he be annoying? Yeah. I mean, like, he's, oh, he's annoying, but... I think I think this is not so much... Not, I'm looking at the way this tier list is structured. It might not be best, like, best to worst. It's just different varieties of roommate. You know, because, like... There's the roommates that never do anything, and there's the roommates that are actively making your life miserable, and then there's, you know, I'm done, I'm moving out, and then there's the ones that kill you, and then there's the ones that are just annoying, you know? He's very narcissistic. His voice alone would drive you crazy. Yeah. He would call his dad all the damn time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that's awful. He wouldn't do anything, but he would also just make my life miserable just by being around. Yeah. All right. Lindbergh. A mink cat. Okay. Also a cat, but a smaller cat. Still a very large cat, but a steampunk cat that has access to a jetpack. How big is Lindbergh? Let's look up Lindbergh. Lot, would be a lot of machinery around. Yeah, he would be... That would be a thing. That would be a little annoying at night. He'd be out in the garage or he'd be out somewhere tinkering with his, like, experiments far into the night. So we might have to set some rules about that. No, I don't want Charles Lindbergh. I want the real Lindbergh from One Piece. <laughs> He's under five feet tall. Okay. So he's like four foot something probably. So uh, that's a bigger cat, but that's way more doable than 17 feet of cat. Um, he is kind of like Frankie, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of like Frankie. Steampunk cat. Four feet, four feet tall. That's smaller than I am. Probably would get pet hair everywhere still too. But I mean, if I'm okay with Ina Rarashi hanging out, then yeah. Don't make, he's like, like Lindbergh, just don't make explosives. 
Ah, I, I know, but I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night to an explosion in the bathroom, okay? Because you're making bathtub explosives or some stupid shit, all right? I got to wake up. I got to use the bathroom. I don't want to, you know, sit on the toilet and blow up. You know what I mean? So just keep it, keep it gunpowder low. But if he does that, I'm okay with him. Let's go with very solid. Let's go with that. Yeah. Yeah. He's an art student, basically. <laughs> like, sure, okay, yeah. Uh, all right, Rizo. Rizo, he's a ninja. So you never even know... Wait, you never even know he's there. <laughs> Rizo would keep to the shadows. You would move into the apartment, and then you'd be like, Hello? Anyone? You'd, like, check every room, and they're like, no one in here? It's like, okay, I guess they're not home. I guess they're out. All right, that's weird. I thought they'd be here when I got here. All right, I guess I'll just move my stuff in. And then all of a sudden, boom, he shows up at dinner. Ha-ha! He just poofs in. Oh, maybe he would be a little annoying. Rizo might be a little annoying, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Rizo would be... He'd be doing the ninja crap. He'd be like constantly, he would be like, I can, I know ninjutsu. I'm like, oh, that's cool. But he'd be like popping around all the time. Like shadow clone jutsu. It's like, yes, I know you can do shadow clone jutsu. That's cool. That's fine. But just, just eat your, eat your fish tacos or whatever, you know? He's also very loud. Yeah. Every time you turn around, things have moved, but you never see him. <laughs> that would be annoying. That would be annoying to live with uh, with Raizo. Yeah. He would just be talking about Naruto all the time. He's gonna. He would just do hand signs all the time. He'd be... No. <laughs> I want you to imagine this for a moment. You get home. You open the door. You go in the apartment. Raizo is sitting on the couch watching Naruto practicing hand signs and you just look at him and you just like ugh <laughs> okay alright buddy <laughs> like alright oh oh Nami's next okay you may notice I did not put a lot of women on this list and that was intentional because um I feel like the chat would have gone crazy with a lot of them. Like, oh my God, you're living with a sexy one piece lady. I'm like, all right, all right, here's the deal. We'll, we'll use, we'll put Nami on here. We'll put Robin on here. And there's a few other women on the list. But for the most part, I like kept it guys, you know. Okay. So <laughs> Nami is, I want to clarify here. Your roommate, all right? She's a roommate, all right? You're you're not you're not dating, you're not hooking up or anything, just as a roommate, okay? So she would be good at paying rent. She would manage that very well, but you would have to like she would have everything. She would have the accounting calculated down to the nat's ass. She would have everything down to it. She'd be like, okay. I am paying this percentage of the electric bill. You pay this percentage of the rent. All the other utilities are covered. This is what I pay for food. This is what you pay for food. You know, I, I feel like she would have everything kind of organized by the time I already got there. You know, like there's that stuff. Yeah. Um, roommates in just one room, preferably. Yeah. See, I knew it was going to be shit like that. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll keep the women to a minimum in this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, that sounds very practical. Um, let's see. I don't think she would steal your shit. Like, I don't know. Like, you're a roommate. I don't know if, like, I don't know if she would be so cruel that she would, like, steal your money or anything. She wouldn't do that. She wouldn't do that. Does Does Nami steal, like, Usopp's money or something? Like, no, she doesn't do that. So she'll, no. she like, if you're a roommate... If you respect her boundaries and she'll respect yours and you get everything s sorted out with the accounting and with the, the budget and everything like that, she can cook really well. If you can cook okay, you know, it would be fine. 
she'd be on the lease instead of you. Yes, that would be true. She would have full, she would have the lease in her name. Yeah. I love, I love how just happiness punch. <laughs> in this scenario, we have our own bathrooms. There is not a single bathroom. She has her bedroom, her bathroom. I have my bedroom. I have my bathroom. If, if it is ever a situation where I am in her bathroom or in her bedroom for any reason, that is it. I am getting kicked out. All right. So I'm not going to go there. That's what respecting boundaries is about when you have a roommate. All right. Like, come on now. Do you, do you think Sanji, like Sanji lives with Nami and Robin. Do you think he's ever tried to like peek on them in the bath or something or in their bedrooms? Like, come on, Sanji's creepy, but he's not that. Cre well, okay, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me think about it. All right. All right, all right. He might have... He's at least considered... <laughs> yes, 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 yes. What the fuck are you talking about? Of course he's tried to do that. He absolutely has. <laughs> yeah, canonically, yeah. Canonically, he's definitely tried to at some point. Which makes him a pretty shitty roommate, by the way. Like, they're hanging out in the sunny, and they're like, okay, time for bed. All right, guys, good night. I'm going to go try to peek at Nami really quick before I go to sleep. I mean, that's kind of a fucked thing to do. Like, you don't do that, Sanji. Jesus Christ, come on. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he did with Brooke when Momo was bathing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> he would. He would. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was, I wasn't thinking, I know about the scene at Wano in the bath, which was just as bad, but I was thinking like, cause they're all living together on the sunny. They spend most of their time as basically roommates living in the sunny as their apartment, essentially. Yeah. But she's fine. Yeah. She's either fine or very solid. I can't really think of, yeah, she wouldn't be annoying or anything. Actually, I think she'd be very solid roommate, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. She'd be clean, she would cook, and then I would clean, and then I would cook the next night and clean, whatever. It would be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Aokiji, Kuzan. Um, like, in the summer, though, when it's hot as hell outside, dude, his power would be amazing to have. Like, if it's super hot and you just don't feel like you feel like saving money for AC, like, dude, just make a giant ice block outside and just, oh, that's so nice. He's a little, he's a little lazy, though. He is a little lazy. It's like never does anything, but like. You would save so much money on AC, yeah. He, I think he would do stuff. I don't think he would be laying around. Out. He, he would sleep a lot. He would sleep a lot, is what he would do. He wouldn't wake up till, like, noon, right? But once he wakes up, he would get stuff done. Yeah. Free popsicles. I'm all right with him and perfectly fine. He would just sleep a lot. But sometimes I might prefer that. It might be, like, nice to just, like, oh, he's mostly asleep, so I have, like, some more time to myself or whatever, you know? Maybe maybe that's fine. Yeah. Best roommate in the summer. Yeah, in the summer, best roommate. Yeah. All right. Uh, King. Albert. Um, I think he would be fine, too. I, I don't think, like, King is one of those characters just, like, with, uh like, Drake. It'd just be, like... Yeah, just, like, hanging out with, just chilling. Like, I can't really think of anything bad here, you know? He wouldn't be able to fit through the door. We're, we're assuming that whatever height the person is, they can fit into the apartment. They're not, like, cramped in the apartment like this. Yeah. Dude, King could fly you around. I'm not going to ask him to, like, fly me around places. He's not my personal jet. I uh, know. Ladies, man. He is a ladies, man. King is hot. King is canonically very hot. Yeah. He's all right. 
He w- he could. He wouldn't, but he could. Like, I feel like with, with Kuzon making ice, like, that's like, literally, he snaps his fingers and he makes a giant ice block to cool you down. Or like, huh? Okay. Here. Done. King would be like, hey, can you can you fly me to work? <laughs> King would be like, no. It's like, oh, come on, man. You got wings. It's like, yeah, they're mine. I'm not gonna, I'm not your private jet service. Why is King not on the list? Why is King on the list, but not Queen? Um, Yeah, you're right. I guess Queen isn't on the list. Oh, well, that's how it is. Perfectly fine, roommate. Perfectly fine. Um, let's see here. Caesar clown. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> just, I'm dead. All of these with Caesar is always just dead. Just dead, dead, dead. CSI. Caesar clown. I would just walk in and just smell like some horrible odor coming out of the bathroom or his bedroom. And be like, <laughs> what the fuck is the house? <laughs> I wouldn't even get a chance to move my shit in. I would just be dead as soon as he walked. Oh, damn it. Mustard gas is toxic to humans. I forgot. Damn it. Another body. Well, it's time to push him in aqua regia and melt him and then flush him down the toilet. You know, and then the CSI show up. He's like, what happened to him? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I am a perfectly normal individual living in this apartment. That's the ninth one this week. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Who's next? Hogback. <laughs> yeah, I think we got two CSIs <laughs> right back to back here. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's a pretty simple, these are very, some of these are very, very simple. Some of these I don't have to think too much about. Hogback is a murderer. He's a mad scientist that will cut you up and turn you into a zombie. Yeah. Aqua Regia was for metals. Okay, so I actually was just recently watching a, a wired breakdown of, uh, she was a chemist that was breaking down uh, Breaking Bad scenes. And there's a scene in Breaking Bad where they always use hydrofluoric acid to dissolve bodies. And this chemist was like, I probably wouldn't use hydrofluoric acid to dissolve a body. It probably would get the job done. But Aqua Regia is way stronger because it can melt gold and shit. If it can melt gold, it can melt a human body. You know, like, it, that, the Aqua Regia is very strong. It's very potent. Yeah. Uh, no hospital bills, though. Yeah. Yeah, he's also a serial killer. He murdered Sindri, didn't she? Didn't he? Like, isn't the idea that he kidnapped Sindri, murdered her, and then turned her into a zombie that was his servant? Yeah, so that's what he does with people he likes. How do you think that's going to happen with somebody like me who he doesn't care for? I liked that bear. I don't even fucking know you. <laughs> 30 minutes or less. Classic movie. Classic. No, it isn't. But it's an okay movie. Yeah. Now, she was already dead. Yeah, she was already dead. I think she died in an accident. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Marco. Marco is going. Listen, I don't even care what anybody else says. Marco's going into best roommate. Maybe it's different for you, but this is my tier list. And I got to tell you right now, Marco's best roommate because he enjoys pineapples on pizza. And I'm a pineapples on pizza loving guy. All right. So... I move in with Marco. His first thing is, hey, man, welcome to the neighborhood. Uh, I ordered a pizza. Oh, nice. What's on it? I uh, hope you don't mind, but I got some pineapple. I would go over and hug this man. First time meeting him, I would hug this man. And he'd be like, okay, dude. Whoa. All right. All right. Uh, nice to see you, too. Yeah. Just bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> bring it in. Also the free health care. Yeah. Also the Phoenix Flames of Revival. That, I guess that's nice, too. Yeah. Marco is a great guy. Yeah. Marco delivers, devours pineapples like apples. He just eats a pineapple whole. Love it. 
and a chill room. I think I think Marco would be a chill guy just to hang out with. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um. Okay. Oh, Kawamatsu! I love Kawamatsu. Kawamatsu's great, man. He's either best or he's very solid. He's one of the two. Kawamatsu! Woo! Oh, man. I would do the Kappa dance with Kawamatsu. I would love to do the Kappa dance with him. It'd be great. I I'm going to say very solid. Maybe not best, best roommate, but Kawamatsu is awesome. Kappa, Kappa, Kappa. <laughs> I don't know why. I just love Kawamatsu's character. I don't know what to tell you. I just really love Kawamatsu. He's my favorite scabbard, hands down. I really wish there was I wish there was more shit with him in Wano. I wish they focused on him more. They had this big thing in the, in the prison where you think he's going to do something really cool. He shows up, he has this big introduction, and then that's kind of it. He doesn't really have any other big moments in the story. But damn, is he cool. He eats poison, doesn't waste food. He just eats the bones whole. Yeah. Oh, no, no, he doesn't. He spit the bones back out, but he ate the poison fish. Yeah. Yeah. Would he smell like a fish? You know, I don't even mind. I don't care. He's a Kappa. It's fine. All right. Captain Kuro of a Thousand Plans. Hmm, yes. All right. So I would move in and instantly know that he's the villain. <laughs> like, I move in and he's there with his slicked back hair and he's like reading a book. He's like, uh, greetings. Welcome to my apartment. Okay. You're the villain. I, I know right away you're a villain. You're going to try some convoluted plot to kill me or use me in some convoluted plan. So I think I'm just out. I think I'm just gone. I'm like, look, you're clearly the evil villain. You clearly posted the um, roommate wanted ad in the paper because you wanted someone to just manipulate and use. So or, or like a cover identity. So I'm, I'm out. Find somebody else. I'm done. <laughs> I'm just out. Uh, I'm moving out. I'm moving out before he has a plan to even kill me. I'm done. He's clearly a villain. You walk in on this guy. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. He's wearing a full piece like suit, glasses, slick back hair, just reading a book. I'd be like, mm, no, no, just don't get the right vibe off of you. No. Oh, you're clearly evil, so bye. All right, Jinbei. All right, Jinbei. Jinbei's the dad of the Straw Hats. He's the dad. He's the papa bear. So you know what? Jinbei, he's either... I think he's, I think he'd be a very solid roommate. I'm about Kawamatsu and, and Jinbei, both next to each other. There you go. Jinbei! Dude, it would be awesome living with Jinbei. All the dad jokes. I'm okay with dad jokes. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with dad jokes. Hold on a minute. I gotta check something. Alright. He would take a lot of room up. The room would be big enough for him. It's fine. Um, okay. Ooh! Charlos. Okay. I wouldn't die. Jinbei, I love how everyone's like, Jinbei would smell like fish. Well, the Straw Hats are living with him, and they don't seem to mind. So I don't think I would mind either. I think it would be okay. Um, Okay, Nami and Robin and everybody are hanging out with him. They're not like, ew, Jinbei, you smell like fish. We can't even be in the same room as you. It's like, no, nah, it would be fine. It would be fine. Um, Okay, Charlos isn't going to kill me. I might end up killing Charlos, though. That's... That's the rub. I might be the one murdering Charlos, but I'm going to just say awful roommate or never does anything. I think, I think Charlos would just be, he just literally never does anything. He's just a fat slob on the couch that just doesn't do anything. He's just a beached whale. Pretty much. He'd just be like, hello, welcome to the house. Mm. He would treat me like a servant. Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to think we need to get rid of the never does anything category because the never does anything category kind of makes you by default an awful roommate. Because if you're not doing anything, then you're a shitty roommate. So I think we're going to get rid of that category. We're going to bump these guys down. We're going to remove everybody. Okay with that. Everybody okay with me deleting the row. He's a Karen. Oh, totally. Yeah. He would be super commie guru. No. 
Fetch me my ham and cheese. Yes, okay, we're good. Delete road. All right, there we go. That's better. Yeah, awful roommate. I think we're all right with that. That, that works a lot better. Okay. Yeah, change never does anything to a few issues. Oh, we could do that. Yeah, let's do that. Add row below. We can we can do that. Okay. Has a few issues. All right. That's 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 understandable. Okay, what color is that? Slightly Uh Oh, I see, oh, I see what I did. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me let me change that out. Dark orange. And then and then there we go. Okay. Oh, I fucked that up. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on a second. Red, orange, slightly less orange, yellow. Okay, we're good. All right. Okay. Um, has a few issues. Okay, so maybe Bartolomeo would go there then. Yeah, Bartolomeo would have a few issues. I can't even tell who is next. That is Mr. Four. Babe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Mr. Four, his whole shtick is he talks very slow and he moves very slow. Like that's his whole thing. Because Miss Merry Christmas is he talks, she talks very fast. Like, hey, everybody, how you doing? I'm Miss Merry Christmas. Okay, let's go over here. And let's go over there. Let's go shopping. Okay, let's go home. Let's go to McDonald's. Okay, let's get some food. Okay, let's go to bed. All right, let's wake up and let's go do this. All right. Mr. Four is like, okay. I guess. <laughs> um, does he have Lasso? I, I want to say he would have Lasso because Lasso is his dog. He does. That is Mr. Four's dog. Yeah. Yeah, I would say telling Jimbe he smells like fish. That's kind of, yeah, that's a little bit maybe racist. You, know, you, don't, you don't say that to a fish, man. That's not cool, man. Yeah. Do you like baseball? I actually do. I actually am a fan of baseball. Um, I think Mr. Four would just hang out and watch baseball games. And I, I'd watch baseball with him. I like the Cubs. Yeah. Does he shave his legs? I don't know. That's a, that's a factor, apparently, with me. I don't know. Uh, maybe a little annoying. But he has a dog, though. Hmm. Maybe up to perfectly fine with the dog. <laughs> He would do chores very slowly, you know. Few, if few issues category, yeah, because he would every chore he did, he would do very slow. So it's like, hey, can you, you know, clean up the table after dinner? He'd be like, okay, and then you come back like an hour later, and he's still not even like halfway done. Not because he's not doing it; he is. He's just doing it. Very slowly. Hey, uh, you've done mopping the floor. It's it's been two hours. I'm just asking, you know. I'd like to walk in the kitchen now. The floor's kind of wet, you know. Yeah. All right. I like the Cubs. Yeah. Uh, Beiji. All right. Beiji would run a tight ship. All right. Beiji would be like, "Hey, welcome to the welcome to the room. Welcome to the place. Thank you for taking the invitation." Uh. You know, shoes off. I don't want any mud in this house. You know, that kind of stuff. Now, he does smoke. But would he smoke in his own... Well, he does smoke in his own um, in his own castle. So he probably wouldn't care. He probably wouldn't mind. But he would keep it in a way of like, shoes off, uh, always dress well, keep on good hygiene. Would Beiji be both the roommate and the apartment? <laughs> That's the thing. I move into the apartment or the house... And it's just beigey there, but that's just like his representation in the actual house. And he could like move the house around and like change the outlet, the structure, and everything. And like, ah, shit. They're baby smokes, for God's sakes. That's true. That is true. Pez smokes. I'd be living with to uh, Tony Montana. Yeah, I'd be like the Sopranos. Yeah. Beigey is the room. <laughs> He's not a room mate, he's a room mate. <laughs> But still, I mean, like, does that make him a bad roommate just because he's the room? <laughs> the room? 
Yeah, the smell would be pretty bad. If he's if he's okay with smoking in his own castle, which is smoking inside of himself. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute, though, because he was very careful not to... Wait a second. When they were inside of the castle, remember Sanji's cigarette kind of ignited the inside of the castle, and he was like, shit, shit, shit! You know, he's just like... So maybe he doesn't smoke inside of his own castle for that reason. Because apparently a little bit of fire was ignited to, like, burn the inside of the castle down, and he was like, whoa, what are you doing? Oh, he also has a baby and, and a wife. I'd be moving in with... I'd be moving in with a family. He'd be the landlord. Yeah. Yeah, would we be moving in with his family? Because if we're moving in with his family, I'm just moving out. I think I would probably end up moving out anyway, because I, I might stay for a couple of days, but it might be like a... Once again, you're you're clearly a member of the mafia. You're clearly a member of the mafia, and you're running you know, scams and stuff, and it's like, I just don't want to be part of that world. All right? I wish you good luck with you and your family. I'm I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I'm leaving. All right. Yeah. It's all fun and games until he wakes you up in the middle of the night with a shovel and be like, hey, we're going to go hide a body. Get in the car. You're driving. I'm like, okay, fine. I'll help you bury one body. But after this, I'm moving out. <laughs> Come on. We're wasting moonlight. I'm like, all right, <laughs> let's go. Uh, the walls have ears and eyes and a mouth. <laughs> he is the apartment. He would see everything you do. Yes, everything. Even that. Especially that. All right, yeah, okay. Uh, Aramaki. Okay. Uh, I don't, th once again, I don't think it would get to a point with CSI. Here's what would happen. I would move in with Aramaki. I would take out my box of stuff. I would start to put out my stuff and he'd be in the room and he'd be just chatting with me. And then he would say some racist shit. He would just do it like casually. Like it was just an, like a regular thing to say. Just like, Hey man, uh, you know, you watch, um, you, you, you a fan of, uh, I don't know. You a fan of sports. Just like how a normal person would say you're a fan of sports. He'd be like, so, um, what's your opinion on? And then he would say some racist shit. And I he'd like use a, like a derogatory term for somebody. And I would be like in the middle of putting stuff out and I'd be like, okay, nope, 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 nope. Later. Bye. And, uh, he'd be like, yeah, well, I didn't want you anyway. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Later. Bye. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So he'd be like, yeah, how do you, uh, what's your opinion on fishmen? Like, do you think they need or equal rights or what? I'd be like, nope, not, uh, not, not, we're not, we're not dealing with this bullshit. I'm out of here. You know? <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. No. Yeah. Nope. Screw casual racism. We're going competitive. Oh my God. Uh, you're a little pale. You don't happen to be, uh, Hey Crawford. Yeah. That doesn't have to be Scottish. Would it? I'm like, Hmm. No, 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 no. Uh, I mean, there'd be a lot of uh, random botany and like uh, bonsai trees and stuff in the apartment. Like it'd be very plant related, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Aramaki. Hey, uh, so do you think fishmen, they, they smell like fish, right? I'd be like, nope. Mm -mm. All right. Magellan. I want Magellan to be a good roommate. I want to hang out with Magellan, but no, it would be <sighs> every day, constantly, for several hours, he's in the toilet. Oh, oh, oh boy, howdy, that's a big one. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, here comes the big one. <sighs> Okay. All right. I think that was. Oh God! Here it comes again. <laughs> Just like. Even if we have separate bathrooms, he'd walk into my bathroom and be like, "Oh, my toilet melted. I need to use yours." Oh. Oh, the toilet is always clogged. Oh man. You're in constant danger of getting poisoned. Whole apartment smells like... Not even smells like shit. 
it would smell like a caustic chemical. It wouldn't even smell like, oh, that smells like poop. No, that smells like like ammonia or some shit or some toxic waste chemical. It would make you dizzy upon smelling it, you know? Um, I, th- I, th- I think I would just leave before I died. I think Caesar Clown would honestly try to kill me. Magellan, I would just walk in and the whole thing would smell like shit. And he'd be like, well, what do you mean? I don't think it smells like anything. Oh, excuse me. I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, God. Oh. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. No, uh, 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 this stream has 400 likes. That's crazy. I know, right? Wild. Oh, yeah. Never let Magellan cook. Never let Magellan cook. He'd be like, it's my, it's my specialty. Puffer fish. Oh wow, puffer fish. That's that's really exotic. That's really hard to remove the uh the poison sack, right? Yeah, it's pretty hard. That's why I don't even bother. Dig in! Oh that tetra detoxin. Oh damn, that tastes good. Oh man. <laughs> okay, no. Uh open the fridge, it's just all poisons. Yep. Okay, uh Kuma! Kuma! Kuma, best roommate. Kuma would be great. Kuma would be such a wholesome dude to hang out with. Kuma would be such a friendly guy. He would be like, oh, hello there. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm so happy that you could move in with me. He, here's all the rules. Here's everything. Don't, don't uh, you know, be shy. If you want to have any problems, just come to me and ask. Uh, I also have a Bible study every Sunday. I hope that won't bother you. You're welcome to join if you'd like. And be like, oh, okay, this is nice, this is nice, this is great, yeah, yeah, number one roommate, such a good guy. I might even join in on his Bible study group. I might even join in, why not, right? I'm there, right? I like learning about religion, you know? I have a bunch of books on religion studies and stuff like that. I, 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 would, I, would, I would hang out with Kuma, yeah. I wouldn't go to church with him, but you know what? Fuck it. Every now and then I would go to church with him. Fuck it. Kuma might be able to convert me to religion. Like, the, the, the religion of the sun god, Kuma might be able to convert me. He's that wholesome. Yeah, Kuma's great. And he could take my pain away. He could just, pop, remove the pain. Yeah. Um, Sanji. Sanji, Sanji, Sanji. He smokes. Okay. Sanji is probably the first person on here that would not smoke in the goddamn house. I'd be like, Sanji, can you please smoke out on the balcony? Can you smoke outside? And he'd be like, sure. I think I don't think we would have a problem with that. He would cook a meal and then he would go out on the back porch and he would smoke. Oh, yeah. Also, hey, Kuma, can you send me to Hawaii for a weekend? Sure. I mean, you got to I mean, I guess I could pick you up. Sure. Here we go. Pop. And then. Woo. <laughs> Uh, so the thing is though, yeah, he would be bringing like women back to the apartment and stuff, um, which that's his business. That's fine. You know, I'd be on the couch like working or, you know, playing a game or something and he'd come through the door and he'd be with some beautiful lady friend and I'd be like, oh, hey man. And he's like, oh, hey, it's like, okay, well you have fun. You know, he's, you, you guys enjoy each other's company. I'm going to be over here. Um, Would he be bringing women to the apartment? I mean, like, okay. Tinder is a thing. Like, just for more hookup kind of thing? Maybe, I think so, yeah. Because Sanji's pretty, he's pretty ripped, okay? He's a pretty, he works out. He's a ripped guy, you know, for hookups and stuff like Tinder, maybe, yeah. Netflix Sanji would. Oh, yeah. If I was just rooming with Taz Skyler. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, do you think he'd lock the fridge? No, because I wouldn't be devouring half the fridge. Um, either has a few issues or I don't think he'd be annoying. Well, yeah, he might be a bit annoying. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, as long as you're not female, as long as you're not a woman, like, he'd be a perfectly okay roommate. 
if you were a girl living with Sanji, you would have to move out like immediately though. Like it would, it would be pretty quick that you would realize that like, he's going to try to like sneak a peek on me in the shower or something. He's going to like install a camera in the fucking shower head or something. I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't invite your sister over jokes on you. I don't have a sister. Uh, yeah. Okay. The cooking would be good. Yeah, I mean, like, the cooking the cooking would be gourmet. That's the thing. Sanji is like, would you argue all the time? I would not argue with Sanji all the time. We would probably, if it's a roommate, you probably have arguments every now and then, but yeah. Um, yeah, no, Sanji, I feel like, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I guess he would be perfectly fine as long as you're not a woman. Um, he might be a little irritating, but, like, with all of the food that he makes, you would eat good every single day. I mean, it would be without question, right? Yeah. I would dream to have a chef at home. You know, it's just, it's just that, you know, he would come home with all the groceries and he'd be like, oh my God, there were three ladies at the grocery store and they were so hot. And I'd be like, that's, that's great, Sanji. That's fantastic. And he would just keep going on and on and on about that. And I'd be like, that's fantastic. Can you just, just I cook the food. I'll help you prepare the food or I'll help you chop the vegetables. The foods are great, but I have to deal with some of that. Okay. Yeah. As long as you don't have green hair, you're good. All right, good. Okay. Leo. I put Leo on here just because he's tiny. So it's like, I was like, oh, Leo doesn't take up any space. So Leo is just like, he doesn't even need his own. Like, I basically, I have two bedrooms, basically, because Leo's bedroom could just be like like a little thing on top of like, you know, like Leo doesn't need a lot of space. Um, Yeah. He's okay. Yeah. I mean, like, Leo would be perfectly fine. I don't I don't see any issue. What what are some major issues with Leo? Leo's very gullible. Yeah, but that depends on the kind of stuff that I say to him. Like, if I find out pretty quickly that Leo is very gullible, I'm gonna have to adjust the way that I talk to him. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I, he'll believe whatever I say. So I gotta rein that in a little bit. I gotta make sure to like when I'm telling him something, I gotta make sure that it's like, no, this is this is the direct way I got to tell it. Yeah. He's great at sewing. If I ever rip a piece of clothing, he could just sew it and fix it like that. Leo actually might be a very solid roommate. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I ripped my favorite hoodie a while ago and I had to, my mom worked with a lady that was a professional like seamstress and I, I, I paid her to fix it because it was like one of my favorite hoodies ever. And I'm like, I need this to be fixed. <laughs> I just give him a hamster cage. <laughs> Um, uh, been rocking with you for years now and came to say, uh, OPU, it do what it do. What it do. Hey man. Hey Jordan. How you doing? Thanks for your first super chat, man. Leo would fall for internet scams. He would, but that doesn't really have anything to do with me. That's more of him. If you like, I gave my internet, I gave my credit card number to this random website that said it was going to make me rich. And now my account got hacked. I'd be like, "Oh, Leo, buddy, no, no, Leo, you can't, you can't just be giving out your 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 credit card number to random people online." Oh, it's okay. The bank sent me a new credit card. I posted about it on Twitter to let everybody know. I'm like, "Oh God, Leo, <laughs> Leo, no." <laughs> Three Nigerian prince scams a year at least. I cannot trust him with my secrets or, mon or money. Okay, I guess I'll just have to handle them. I'll be okay. I'll handle the rent. It'll be fine. Uh, Leo the Boomer. Yep. <laughs> Got to do some stretching here. Hold on a second. Who's next? Oh, Kinemon. All right. Yeah. I think I put a lot more of the scabbards on this list. All right. All right, Kinemon. Um, Kinemon would be all right. I mean, he's good at parties. He has the fart talking trick. He can talk out of his ass, quite literally. Um, I mean, like, he can he can make it... Okay, fashion-wise, this would be really fun. Dude, it actually would be cool to live with Kinemon because you'd be hanging out with Kinemon, right? 
and randomly you'd be like, hey man, you want to do a fashion show? Okay. And then just boom, 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 boom. Just random outfit after random outfit after random outfit. You could be seeing like really cool. I I could be watching TV and see a really cool outfit on TV and be like, man, I wish I had that outfit. Be like, all right, here you go. Put a piece of leaf on my head and just poof. Outfit, you know? Dude, that'd be neat. That'd be so cool. He has a wife. Yeah, I'd be living with him and his and Suru. All right. Uh, no, I think I'd be perfectly fine. I'd be perfectly fine living with Kinemon. No need for a wardrobe. Yeah. He is married, though. That's fine. A whoop slap. Oh, it's time to bring in the slap. Oh, yeah. That's that slap. All right. The best cosplayers for every convention. Yeah, Kinemon would be cool. He would have everything, every outfit for every occasion. All right. So Whoop Slap would be a cantankerous old man. You're like, you name Kinemon, what are you doing in my house? I'm, I'm your new roommate. What's that? I'm your new roommate, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you stay in your room. I'll be over here. No sound after six. That's when I go to bed. Like, okay. Oh, so it's living with a boomer. Living with a 70-year-old boomer. Okay. Uh, thank you for being here. I don't know how to use this iPad my grandkids bought me. I don't know how this works. Can you show me? I'd be like, yeah, you turn it on. And it's like, watch that. I was like, oh, God. Uh, you get lectured daily. What's with those socks? What's with that leg? Back in my day. Back in my day, men had longer leg hair. It's like, all right, I don't know. Ugh. I told Kaido's VA the duck mean he quacked. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's awesome. Is there? Is, did, you, did you record that? Do you have Kaido's VA doing like quack? <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, always talking politics. Kids these days, the country was better back in the 50s. Right? Okay. I mean, you've heard boomers say that stupid shit before, right? Right? You've heard... Like, that's not even me exaggerating. I have heard boomers say that stupid shit. The country was good back in the 50s. That's when it was good. I'm like, uh-huh. Okay. Right. All right. So, um, I think I'm going to be moving out. I think after a while of this, I'm moving out. Yeah. 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 He'd tell you to turn the music down all the time when you're just sitting in silence. <laughs> Yeah, I can hear the electricity in the walls. Unplug that damn radio. <laughs> Enaru. Dude. Oh, my God. You're living with a guy that literally thinks he's God. I mean, which is kind of Charlos. But you're living with a guy that thinks he's God. He's like, ah, peasant. Please fetch me my apples for the day. <laughs> Enaru, come on, this, the, the, the house is a mess. You gotta start cleaning up after yourself. Huh, a god does not clean up after himself. I have recruited servants to, oh, it's gonna be, he's a cult leader. I'm gonna move in, and it, he's gonna be there. He's like, ah, you have answered my request for a roommate. And there's like seven other people living here, but they're all dressed in like togas. And it's like, who are these guys? Oh, they live in the closets. They are my servants. They are part of my religion. I'd be like, I'd be moving in with a fucking cult leader. Be like moving in with like Marshall Applewhite if he could control electricity or some bullshit. Ah. Oh. Free electric, though. <laughs> Free electricity bills while you live here. In my cult. Anything to not pay the electric bill. Oh my god, you're right! Yeah! Uh, yeah, I don't think I would be, I mean, it, yeah, I would move out. Now we're just getting more on, like, moving out here. Yeah. He will steal millions of watts. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't that fit a rouge, though? Uh, is he on the list? I don't know if Arouge is on here. He's not on here, so we don't have to worry about him. Uh, Karasu. All right, Karasu. Very quiet. Very cu quiet dude, unless he has the creepy plague doctor. He's like, oh, excuse me a minute. I'll have to put on my, my, 
speaker. He straps on this giant plague mask and like, okay. I mean, he looks like a rather scary fellow, but he's the leader of a revolutionary army. Actually, his hobby, Otis specified his hobbies once. His hobby is a volunteer work. He just loves doing volunteer work. He's like, uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Welcome to the apartment. I'm sorry I can't uh, stay long. I have to go and volunteer at the animal shelter down the street. I'd be like, oh, and then I'm going to service some uh, homeless people at a soup kitchen. I'd be like, oh, well, that's that's nice. That's cool. I think he'd be, he would be very scary at first, but I think after a while, you get to know him. He'd be an all right guy. He'd be an all right guy. Yeah. He's fine. He's okay. Okay. Yeah, God is a literal title on Skypea, but Eneru basically set himself up as a god too. Like he had servants waiting on him hand and foot and shit. So yeah, he basically thought himself as a actual god too. You know, there are plenty of times where he's like, I am God, you know, it's like, yeah. Uh, okay, Blackbeard. Uh, is Blackbeard gonna kill me? ha <laughs> ha. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'll be like, uh, huh. He's a killer. But would he kill me, though? Hmm. Hmm. He'd be chill if you like his pie. Uh, Probably awful roommate. Would he be awful, though? Like, you know, he's Blackbeard. He, just Blackbeard in, like, a domestic scene. Like, he's just making pies. He Okay, he does look like he doesn't shower. Blackbeard probably doesn't shower. Blackbeard's... He's a straight-up pirate through and through. He's, like, a... He's, like, hair greasy and, and just doesn't brush his teeth. And, yeah, he probably doesn't shower. Yeah. That's probably something that's, yeah. Yeah, I don't think Black... If there's anybody on this list that def definitely doesn't shower, it's Blackbeard. His flabs would stink. Yeah, so I want to put him in, like, awful roommate. I think that's fair. Yeah. He also does not sleep, so you'd be dealing with him all the time. Yeah, you'd be dealing with that crap all the time. It'd be creepy after a while. He just never sleeps. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with awful roommate. Zorro! I mean, if I'm living with Zoro, he can't get lost, right? It's not like, I got lost on the way to the toilet. <laughs> I don't think Zoro is that directionally challenged. Okay, well, maybe he is. He might be, actually. He might be so directionally challenged, he does lose his way to the fucking uh, bathroom. Uh, constantly drunk. Zoro's not constantly drunk. He doesn't know how to take care of a home. He also doesn't shower often in trains. Yeah, he does sweat a lot. I would say, like, a couple of issues. I would pick Zoro over Luffy. If I had to choose between living with Zoro or Luffy, I'm picking Zoro. He'd be working out a lot. He would have a gym in his room. His room would just be the gym. Yeah. Room full of dumbbells. It's like, hey, how you doing? Pretty good. I'm just working out. Just getting a workout in between my pre-workout and my post-workout. Later on, I'm going to work out. <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool. Cool, man. Uh, okay, Dragon. Dragon. Monkey D. Dragon, as his full name is. Uh, he'd be leading a revolution inside of my apartment. Uh, or our apartment, I guess. We'd be living in it together. Um, he's like, today we're going to take over the HOA. I'm like, all right, what are we doing? His room would be looking east. That is my bedroom. You can't have it because it's looking east. I'm like, all right. It may okay, this is kind of like living with Batman. <laughs> Imagine if... Imagine if Bruce Wayne was poor. Bruce Wayne is poor, but he's still Batman, but he's living in an apartment, and I had to move in with him. In the darkest of night, 
I am the only beacon that shines. <laughs> he would leave and never come back for days. I mean, he would leave. He'd be gone for days doing his revolutionary shtick, yeah. He's a terrorist cell operating outside of my apartment. <laughs> That's a sick title for a manga. Yeah, it is actually, yeah. Hey, can you do, uh, can you wash the dishes? Dragon does nothing. You can always count on Dragon to do nothing. All right. Revolutionary. All right. Um, I'm split. Has a few issues or awful roommate. Or would I just move out because of the... He's running the revolution out of my apartment. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to... The revolution, man, that's a little bit extreme. You know? Yeah, I, I feel like if I just... Yeah, it's like if the if the government busts him, I'm going to get arrested too just because I'm living in the apartment with him. You know what I mean? They're not just going to ignore me. Has a few issues. All right. Yeah. It No, it's too risky to live with him. It's too risky. Yeah. That's not a CSI issue. That's more of a CIA issue right there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Kobe. Kobe would be a solid roommate. Not the best roommate. He'd be a solid roommate. He would just be the guy. He does his, his, he does his side of things. He cleans, he cooks. He might be a little bit drab. Maybe he's a little dull. Maybe he, you know, doesn't have exciting things to talk about all the time. But he's fine. He doesn't, he's not arrogant. He's not asking me to do things constantly. I'm not asking him to do shit. He just does it. We just do the chores that need done. He covers his half of the rent. I cover my half of the rent. Yeah. He's boring, so he's fine. No, no, he's boring is why he's not best roommate. Very solid roommate. Very solid. Why do Kobe and Leo look alike? Oh my god, they kind of do. Foxy. I might end up killing Foxy. Yeah, this might be the first one that I would probably end up murdering. Foxy's just so damned annoying. Yeah, I, I think Foxy's dead. Yeah, Cavendish, Hakuba would kill me, Doc Q would kill me, Imsama would kill me, Caesar would kill me, Hogback would kill me. I'm killing Foxy. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. So that, that one's resolved. Okay, here's Robin. All right, Robin is... Okay, the intellectual conversations I would have with Robin, that would be worth it immediately. You know, like I get home... And be like, ah, I've brewed some tea. And then we would just kind of sit around and, you know, drink tea and talk about various things, you know. And she would know way more than I would, you know. And she would teach me. It's like, oh, well, about this thing. I'm like, like, oh, my God. We would talk history all the time into the night. Best roommate. Best roommate. Had to include Robin on here. Had to have Robin. Chat, watch the horniness, all right? Yeah. Um... The chores would be all done. Okay. Robin's ability, she could do all the chores super quick, but it's still an equality thing, all right? I would do the chores one night. It's just that, like, okay, Monday night, she does the chores. They're taken care of in, like, less than five minutes because she, her power. I would do the chores the following night because it's like, hey, look, I know you could get the chores done in five minutes, but it's not fair if you only do them. I'll do them. It'll take longer for me to get them done, but you don't have to do anything. You know, that's fairness. That's not like, hey, yeah, you have like a hundred arms, so you could just do all the chores and I'm just going to hang out over here. It is like, no, that's not cool. You don't do that. You don't do that. Oh, Robin would have a book club. Yeah, I would join Robin's book club. That'd be great. Robin had the best book club. All right, hold on a second. Oh, yeah. I gotta respond to somebody. Um, simp, whatever. I don't care. I'm a roommate with Robin. You can call me whatever you want at that point. <laughs> I 
I think she is son. No, she's best roommate. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> uh all right. So now now we're doing that. Okay, killer. All right, you know what? All right, listen. I know his name is literally Massacre Machine Killer or Murder Machine Killer. But for a guy named Murder Machine Killer, actually pretty fine roommate. Probably pretty solid. Honestly, he might be one of the best ones. <laughs> like, um... <laughs> Yeah, the laugh, unfortunately. Now, it's not his fault that he was forced to eat the smile and shit, but it the laugh would be kind of annoying after a while, yeah. Uh, but he is a pretty smart guy. No, he wouldn't be best. He'd be perfectly. I'd be okay. Maybe, he'd, okay, he would be annoying because of the laugh. He would be annoying because of the laugh. I'm like, okay. I'm sorry, I can't control that. I know you can't. I know you can't, but it's still annoying. I can't, you know. It would be annoying. Yeah. It's not his fault in the slightest, but it is constant. Yeah. Uh Um Vegapunk will heal the pleasures, hopefully. I hope he figures out a way to do it, yeah. Um, Rob Lucci. Okay, Rob Lucci would kill me. CSI. <laughs> CSI, Rob Lucci. Rob Lucci would... He wouldn't kill me right away, but it would happen eventually. Might not be the first day I live there. Might not be the second. Might, be, not, might not even be the first month I'm there. But I'm dead at some point. He's killing me at some point. It's happening. Yeah. Yeah. He could be undercover as a certain roommate, and then the second the, the cover's over, he kills me. Yeah. Were you illegally downloading an MP3? No, sir, I want Fuck! <laughs> yeah. Or he could just find me annoying and kill me, which is also probably something very likely to occur. All right, uh, Kaido. What variety of... It would just be like living with a drunk. <laughs> just like I'm living with a drunk. I'm like, all right. Uh, he's like, hey, how you doing? It's like, I'm doing good, man. I'm just moving in. It's like, yeah. Are you drunk? No, 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 no. I'm not drunk. I just drank a couple last, last night. It's... It's 9.30 in the morning. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, no. I think more. I think worse than, yeah, not just annoying, like, awful roommate. Kaido's going to be going crazy. He's going to be, like, he'll be, like, sympathetic drunk, but then angry drunk, and then, like, abusive drunk. Like, yeah. But not all the time. I don't think I I don't think I would if he's a certain variety of drunk I'm dead. I would probably just move out. You know? I would probably just move out. Yeah. He would kill you in a drunken fit. Yeah. If I walk into a, a house and he's even happy drunk, I'm like, all right. If I walk in and he's happy drunk, I'll probably just move out. I'd be like, okay, you clearly have some substance abuse problem. And there's beer bottles everywhere. And it's like, I, I, I hope you get the help you need, but I can't, I, I'm not, no, I, I, this is, this is dangerous. There's holes in the wall from where you punch the wall. There's a giant metal club in the corner that you hit people with. I can't live with you. I'm done. Or if I go in and he's an abusive drunk, I'm just going to get killed. So it's, it's going to alternate between these two, depending on the variety of Kaido that we have. All right. But dragon. He turns into a dragon. You can convince him to fix his life. Can I, can, okay. Can we get Kaido the help he needs is the question. Do I, do, I'll take him to the AA meetings. Like, do I, can I, oh, mm. excuse me. I'll be right back. 
I got a thing in my throat. I gotta I gotta do a thing. I'll be I'll be right back. Uh, Kaido! Uh, can I fix Kaido? Okay, well, that's not even okay. When you have a serious substance abuse problem and you reach out to friends and family as a support network to help you through that, like, that's not... Fi I mean, that, I guess you could say that's fixing him, but that's not, like, the, the, the way that that's supposed to be used. That's like, you know, hey, man, we care about you. We're there for you. You know, we're, we'll help you get through this. We'll help you get through this addiction, all right? That's, that's what that's there to do, all right? Yeah. Um, but the thing is, a guy that I just met that's a drunk, like, my first introduction of this guy is getting wasted at 9.30 in the morning on a Tuesday. I'm like, I don't even want to get involved, you know? It's like, I hope you find the help you need, but I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. Uh, okay. Zeph. Zeph would be fun. Um, Zeph would be a boomer, but... I don't think he would be as much of a... I don't think he would be as bad of a boomer as Whoop Slap would be. And he's just as good of a chef, if not better than Sanji. Yeah. I, I think he's very solid. I think Zeph needs to be solid. Yeah. He's a cool boomer. He's a cool happening grandpa. <laughs> foxy grandpa. That's what I would get him for his birthday. I'd get him a foxy grandpa hat. I think he would find that really funny. Foxy Grandpa. Alright. Uh, Akainu! Now, okay, I know you want to say Akainu would kill me immediately, but would he, though? Would he? Here's the thing. Kaido would have very strict rules, and if you break the rules, he kills you. But as long as you don't break the rules... You're fine. So I think that fits in the category of awful roommate. You know? I would move in with him, and he would be like, here are the rules, follow them to the letter. And as long as I follow them to the letter, I'm fine. I'm good. Yeah. Akainu is quite peaceful. He actually loves bonsai trees. Yeah, you actually see him trimming bonsai trees in one of the cover pages. The rules would be do everything I say and don't question it. Uh, I think he would lay it out more specifically than that. He is in the military. You know, he he's a military officer. It'd be like living with a military general. Okay, it would be like, you know, here are the rules. You follow them to the letter. Get, wake up, make your bed prepared every day. You know, that kind of shit, which I do anyway. I do that anyway. I wake up and make my bed every day. So it's like, that's fine. When was the last time you made your bed? He could be the perfect gr grill dad. He makes his own grill. Yeah. Better than Green Bull. Oh, he's definitely better than Green Bull. I think he deserves to go up one tier just because of that. Never. Having a military dad. I feel bad for Hibari. I really hope Hibari... I need to make a video about that. I just need to make a whole video about Hibari being a Kainu's daughter. Alright. Okay, Usopp. Listen. Usopp is gonna be one of the best roommates. Usopp is just like a friend... That you just can chill out with whenever, however many times. You know what I mean? Usopp's a guy, I feel, that, like, you can just hang out with your friend, like, your best friend, and you just never get sick of him. And it's like, let's just hang out. Let's get some pizza. Let's play some PlayStation or some Xbox. Or let's play D&D. Or let's play a board game. Or let's get some friends together. Let's go bowling. You know, like, he would be a pretty cool roommate. Yeah.
He's like down for pretty much anything. As long as it doesn't involve doing something that's going to kill him. He's pretty much down to do anything. At least to me, and he's good at cleaning and stuff like that. You know, he, he keeps, he's fastidious. He's not, he's not a slob or something like that. We actually saw his house in the, in the anime when he's leaving. You see the house and he's like, it's pretty neat, you know? He's never boring. He will lie to you all the time. But I think that would become endearing after a while. Like, honestly, like when I lived with my mom, uh, I did this thing. We would both kind of do it where uh, I would just lie and say that like this certain celebrity died. You know, like, oh, yeah, today, I don't know, Dick Van Dyke died or something. She's like, what, really? It's like, no, nah, he didn't. I'm like, okay. And I, we did that back and forth after a while to the point where we both knew we were lying with each other. And it was just like, it was just a thing. So it's probably the same thing with Usopp. He would tell his bullshit lies. I would come up with bullshit lies. We would workshop bullshit lies on top of each other. We're like, what's your bullshit lies for the week? I'm like, okay, here we go. Yeah. Storyteller would be great. I'm going to end this poll finally. Inurashi, giant dog. Uh, do a timeline of the straw journey and make estimates on how long every arc took place in real time. There's people that have already done that. Like there's assessments that have already been done on that. So I feel like I don't need, I like, I feel like I would go through all of it just to like arrive at the same numbers. Yeah, I guess he is a little bit of a pathological liar though. That is a good point. I've never really known anybody that was a pathological liar. I've never had to hang out with somebody that's like that, like lies about literally everything. I can't really think I've, don't think I've known anybody like that. So that might get old, but I'm going to say he's the best roommate for right now. His storytelling skills might be good. Maybe he runs a YouTube channel. Maybe he has his own YouTube channel where he just tells bullshit stories and that's his whole YouTube channel. He monetizes being a pathological liar. <laughs> I've known pathological liars. They're actually kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. I imagine it's also kind of a defense mechanism. You know, for both pathological liars and for Usopp specifically. Yeah, he's a great D&D &D DM. Yeah, perfect. That's what I mean. Yeah. All right. Last row. Mihawk. Mihawk. Um, I mean... I think perfectly fine. I mean, honestly, from what we learned about Mihawk in the last SBS, it, he's just kind of lonely. <laughs> he's just kind of lonely. And he's kind of like a little depressed and he's just like, kind of wants somebody around. So I'm like, okay, sure. Yeah, he's okay. He's very solid. He's an average guy. He doesn't really talk much, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. He'd be kind of boring. Yeah, that's not bad though. That's like... That's okay if your roommate is slightly boring. I'll take a slightly boring roommate over, like, really annoying, you know? He drinks wine every day. Yeah, so what? Glass of wine a day. That's healthy. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not, don't wake him up from his naps. Just don't wake him up from his naps and you're good. I would not wake up. If I saw this man taking a nap, I am not waking him up. Okay. Bong Clay. Bong Clay would be fun to live with. Bong Clay would have a bunch of, um, like a big wardrobe, bunch of outfits. Um, man. Dude, that would be fun. Just never betray him. What, Mihawk or Bong Clay? Wong Clay. Ride or die. Yeah. He'd be a joy. Yeah. I think he'd be very solid. He'd be fun. He's super loyal. Um, He knows fashion. So probably knows how to like, you know, maintain himself. He's not like, you know, he knows how to keep good hygiene up and everything like that. Uh, He'd be annoying, but you'd still love him. Yeah. No, I would. Super funny guy dancing. He could probably teach me how to use, how to do like, like a ball ballet or tap or whatever. Probably ballet. Cause he's, that's what his ballet is. I'll learn, I'll learn how to ballet dance with Bong Clay. Why not? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Even if it's just like, Hey, I made this cool outfit. Yeah, cool. I'll try it on. Let's see. Oh, neat. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that'd be fun. It'd be a fun time. 
Oh, yeah, he can also change appearance. Pop. Yeah. Um. Bon, not bon uh, Moria. Moria would be an awful roommate. R Moria would just be in the same vein as Charlos, I think. Just laying on the couch all day, asking me to do everything. You do it. Kishi, she, she, she. Oh, you go and take out the trash. You go and mop, mop the floor. You clean the kitchen. You clean out my bathroom. Hurry up and make me king of the roommates. I don't even... <laughs> He's a washed up man that lost his motivation. He's all washed up. Back in my day, I used to... I fought Kaido. And now I'm here living in this apartment. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Tora is fine. Fujitora is okay. Fujitora is... He might be a little annoying, actually, because Fujitora does tend to go on about, like, he's like, ah, oh, yes, the pathway before you is one that's mired in cataclysm and misery and just, like, dude, I just forgot to take out the trash. I'm sorry. I'll take it out, okay? He's like, very well, yes. He's okay, though. He's fine. He loves gambling. I'm okay with that. We can play poker on Saturday nights or whatever. I'm all right with it. Everything is left up to a dice roll. Oh, my God. And that would be annoying if he does that, though. Like... Hey, uh, Fujitora, you gonna cook dinner tonight? We shall let the dice decide. No. All right. Next day. Hey, Fujitora, you want to cook dinner tonight? We shall let the dice decide. No. Hey, Fujitora, you want to clean up your bathroom? No. Oh. Uh. That would be pretty annoying if he does the dice roll shit. Because that's literally, like, that's a plot point where he didn't go after Luffy and the others because of dice rolls. He could have went and arrested Luffy the day after the fight with L Doflamingo, but the dice kept telling him not to do it, so he just didn't do it until, like, the fourth day when the roll came out okay. He's like, all right, now we go after him. That would be irritating, dude. But was he being honest, though? That's true. He might have just been doing it for the sake of just he doesn't want to go after them. I'll leave it perfectly fine. He'll be okay. A poo, though. Oh, okay. A poo. I wouldn't die. He wouldn't kill me. He would be a one-man band. He's a one-man band. He's got a, he's got a triangle for a dick. I really don't see that many issues with a poo here. He'd be no he'd be noisy. So yeah, he'd have a few issues. He'd be a little noisy. I don't know if he would be it may be annoying. Yeah, maybe annoying. Yeah, annoying. I honestly feel like it's I should switch annoying and let's do that. Yeah, there we go. That's better. I feel like has a few issues is better than annoying. Yeah. Wouldn't the triangle jingle every time it peed? Every time he peed? Oh, yeah. It definitely would. But, like, who cares? I'd be like, ding! I'd be like, all right, Apu's taking a piss. All right, so, yeah. He speaks in all caps! <laughs> all right. Just get soundproof. Yeah, just get soundproof walls and tell him to not be too loud. And I guess, I guess give it a shot. You said poo. Smoker would be smoking. In more ways than one. He would let the smoke just kind of billow off of him, right? Um, I'm I'm moving out. I'm moving out. I'm not... I can't live... He, he would be smoking day and night. Day and night. He'd be... As soon as he wakes up, he'd be lighting up a cigar. Cigar for breakfast. Cigar for lunch. Cigar for dinner. Now, they are fine, like, Cuban cigars. They are, like, the best cigars out there. 
but it's just cigar after cigar after cigar. And he can't get lung cancer, but I sure as fuck can. Secondhand smoke is a thing. Yeah, that, uh, then again, like, if, if, if Smoker was the one writing the uh, ad in the paper, it would probably be on Craigslist. Or, I imagine these are all on Craigslist. Let's just make them all on Craigslist. <laughs> but, like, the Craigslist ad is, looking for roommate, has to be cool and smoke. Smoker required. Not even, like, non-smoker requested. Smoker requested. <laughs> oh, God, the smoke alarms. You just have to not have any. You just, you just can't have smoke alarms in the apartment. <laughs> So it's a fire hazard on top of that. All right. Uh, oh, Orochi! I am the Orochi! Welcome to my apartment! This is my room, and this is your room, which is also my room, and this is the kitchen, and this is the, uh, this is the balcony, which is mine, and this is the couch, also mine, and this is the stove, also mine! I'm like, I I'm out before he even finishes the fucking sentence. All right. <laughs> This is mine. No, maybe I just kill Orochi. Maybe I do murder Orochi. Yeah, I might very well murder Orochi. Kill him eight times over. I just like, boom! Be like, haha, you cannot kill me. You have to kill me seven times. All right. Bet. <laughs> it's on. Do -do 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 -do. I shot him six times. He's not human. Uh, ulti. All right, ulti. Ah, oh, why did I, I? I know why I put ulti on there, because she... <laughs> it would be funny. That's why I put ulti on there. Okay. Ulti is awful. She beats the... She's very abusive. She's extraordinarily abusive. But would you want to live with her? Is the question. Oh, yeah, she brings page one. She's not moving out. Like, page one tells her, like, okay, after the events of, of Wano, they need to find a new place to stay. And page one is kind of hoping that she goes, gets her own place, and page one can have peace and quiet. But she just, I found an apartment, Pei Pei, let's go! And then, like, page one is coming. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, page one, page one would be there, and he'd be like, dude, I am so... So sorry for what's about to happen. If you want to leave, I get it. Now, in this scenario, I know in all these scenarios, it's always me moving in with them. I think in this scenario, it would be... Oh, no, it's them moving in with... Wait, no. No. Yeah, no, it would be them moving in with me. Like, I already have my apartment, and then they moved in here, and they're like, listen, page one would come up to me and be like, dude, listen, I get it. I know this is your place. I am so, so sorry. But she's not leaving. You can't kick her out. It's not happening. Like, you could try. You're not going to succeed, but you could try. <laughs> so it's either you deal with us or deal with her, or you got to move out. Like, that's that's the only options on the table. What are you guys talking about, Pei Pei? I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Old T would be rude and crude. Yeah. Awful roommate. Awful roommate, Ulti. Eustace, Captain Kid. Um, let's see. He would get everything. He would be like basically working as a mechanic and he would come home and probably not wash up properly. So he's tracking like grease and oil all over the damn apartment. Yeah. Uh, kid is kicked out. Trash, Frankie. Kid would be fine. Would he, though? I'd say Kid has a few issues. He's not too bad. Yeah, I, I know Kid and Zoro, I could kind of see on an even keel. I could kind of see that, yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's that annoying, but he has a couple of issues. Uh, Chopper! All right, free, he free healthcare. Free healthcare is good. Chopper. I be Tony Tony Chopper. Okay, so... I can't really think of any major problems with Chopper here. I mean, he he spends most of his time in Brain Point, which is pretty tiny. If I need help moving a bed or a couch or a cabinet or hey hey Chopper, help me move this armoire. I'd be like, okay, push, uh, you know, thank you, Chopper, great. 
Uh, free health care. Um, he doesn't really know how to cook all that much. It's really just candy. So maybe lose some points for that. Like, I would have to cook most of the stuff. He would know how to use the microwave, I guess. He would he would be microwave meals. I don't think Chopper knows how to, like, prepare fine steak or something, like or salmon or something. Um, yeah. He would, like, I prepared dinner, and it's, like, all candy. It's like, aw, Chopper, thanks. You tried. It's like ice cream covered in gummy bears, covered in sprinkles, covered in chocolate icing. I'd be like, ah, th thanks, Chopper. Thank you. He's also a little bit of a crybaby. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah. Emergency food, though. Yeah. He's not bad, though. No, he's not a bad. He's either very solid or perfectly fine. I, I'd be okay. I'd be, I think Chopper would be an okay roommate. He would be very like, hey, Chopper, here are the rules. Let's blah, 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 boundaries. And he'd be like, okay. He'd be chill with that. Yeah. Oh, Chopper could talk to animals. That would be pretty useful. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Law is cool, too. Law. Law is a little bit of a hipster. Law is a little bit of a hipster. So, you know, he'd be listening to hipster music. But I'm okay with hipster music, I guess. Very edgy. Oh, can't have bread, though. That's such a weird... Well, I mean, I could have bread. It, it's not like Law sees bread and he has a heart attack. You know what I mean? It's just he doesn't like bread. So I'd have to... It's like a little bit... Like, he's like, no gluten. He's like, I'm gluten-free. Oh, God, he is a hipster. <laughs> he is a hipster kind of shit. He's like, yeah, no gluten. I'm like, all right, no gluten. Fuck, well, I'm going to eat gluten. Well, it's bad for you. I'm like, well, I'm still going to eat it. He owns a submarine, though. He's probably listening to the Beatles. We all live in a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. I, I don't know how you became a mod, Draco, but don't abuse the status and wield the wrench with pride. <laughs> um, is Beppo included? Well, if Ulti's bringing page one and Lasso is being brought with, ba with the babe, I guess Beppo comes with law. I guess that's just a requirement. Okay. Beppo is there? All right. Best roommate. Best roommate. If Law and Beppo are hanging out, I want to hang out with Beppo. There we go. Yeah. And he's also a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. It would be nice to have a doctor on standby in case, like, I did something stupid or I woke up and I'm just like, oh, no, there's a thing on my mouth. Is that okay? He's like, yeah, that's fine. You're you're okay. You know? So I had, um, a couple weeks ago, I had a cavity drilled. Uh, okay. And it, it was, it was kind of in there. Like the dentist had to really like, yeah, that might be sore for a bit. So I go home and a couple days later, uh, I have some friends down here playing poker and the gums around the tooth. I ended up get they ended up getting swollen. I guess there was an infection and ended up getting swollen a little bit. And I freaked the fuck out. It would have been nice to have a doctor on standby. I'd be like, uh, do I have to be worried about this? And he'd be like, nah, just do this. Do you rinse with some antiseptic, use some salt water, rinse. You'll be fine. I'd be like, okay, thank you. That's because that's what it was. That's all I needed to do. But yeah. Oh yeah, he could use room and just room. Actually, I wish I had that power to clean my house sometimes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, Law, can you get the remote? Room. There you go. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Law would be a great roommate. Yamato. All right. Yamato is the best Odin cosplayer around. So Yamato's room would be filled with nothing but Odin cosplay stuff, Enmas and Ame no Habakiris, and random assortments of, like, you know, Wano, Edo period, Japanese, like, kimonos. Very, uh... Yeah, Yama bro. Yeah, very, um... Very traditional Japanese kind of style room Yamato would have. Uh, we would go to anime conventions together all the time. Like, absolutely. Yamato would be a great Yamato cosplayer, honestly. <laughs> it's just, I don't know what kind of world I've created here where, like, the One Piece world still exists, but, like, it's our world. I just don't think about it too much, okay? Yeah, Yamato's a weeb for sure. Yeah. 
He could probably cook Odin. Yeah, yeah, he's a weeb. Um, I, I would say very solid roommate with Yamato. Yamato would be fun. All right, uh, two left. We're almost done. We're almost done. Less than three hours today, which is pretty good. We got Vasco, Shot, and Wapple. Both of these. <laughs> Both of these are going to suck. But what level of suck? All right. Um, Vasco, Shot. I'm moving out with Vasco, Shot. And Wapple. Wapple is rich, though. But he's also horribly ill and annoying. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah, he's a legit, like, he implied he wanted to, like, violate Boa when he went to Amazon Lily. So I'm just going to walk in and he's going to be there. He's going to be drunk, too. But he's going to be creepier drunk than Kaido. Like, Kaido is just sad drunk. Like, you walk in on Kaido and he's like, oh, he's like drunk at nine in the morning. That's just sad. You walk in on Vasco and he's the kind of guy that has like women, like, like just like, like, um, like, like, you know, those old. Uh, OK, when I was a little kid, I went over to my uncle's house one day and my uncle just had a bunch of like Playboy magazine posters like all over his garage and <laughs> just like all over the place and i was just like okay well that's a lot of nudity for me to see and i was like a little kid at the time but like all right yeah sure that might actually be the first time i ever saw nudity actually that might be that might have been it because that was when i was kind of a kid uh but i was like maybe like nine ten years old maybe yeah that was probably something like that uh but anyway he's gonna be drunk jerking off and just covered in like you know like playboy magazines and hustler magazines and shit and he has that really crass kind of humor like vagina humor and shit and i'm like yeah no i'm i'm out i'm out i'm out i'm out yeah i'll kick wapple's ass <laughs> wapple would eat you you know what good point I just realized Wapple and Orochi look very similar. Look at Wapple and Orochi right next to each other. They have the same mustache. Yeah, Wapple would just be like, and at the at the end of all this, at the end of all of the different scenarios where I'm moving in with One Piece characters, I walk into Wapple's apartment. He just oh, just eats me, and that's the end of the stream. <laughs> that's the end. He just eats me, calls it a day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Homer Simpson. The tag team of the century, Orochi and Wapple. Maybe if Orochi has one more life in him, we could see a Orochi and Wapple team up. All right, so that was that was a stream for today. That was We got a decent number of people watching us. Uh, I think our peak was, what, 14, 1500, something like that. That was really good. Thanks to everybody for dropping by. Let me read through some of these super chats here. Uh, excuse me. Pull up some of these live chat. Not the live chat, the... Super. Oh, I had the live chat off. Sorry. I had, um, so there's top chat, which is like filters out spam and has a little bit of a lag and then live chat was live. So sorry. I usually leave live chat on the whole way, but that's fine. Um, uh, do a timeline of the Straw Hats journey. I think O'Hara already did that. And also like people have already calculated out like how many, um, I'll, I'll just go back to the whole one second. Let me move this over here and I'll just go back to the main screen for that. Like, okay. Yeah. A lot of people have, um, already calculated a lot of that stuff so like me doing a video about it like the numbers already exist i could make a video on the timeline but like it wouldn't be me calculating anything uh kaido and karasu would be great roommates for each other because kaido's alcoholism comes from depression now i want to write this fic well that's what we're also here for to give a bunch of springboards for fanfics feel free to write fanfics about any of this stuff uh thanks obara uh i told kaido's va the duck meme he quacked that's hilarious uh first super chat thank you jordan uh, yeah, there it is. I see that. Uh, Beiji be the both the roommate and the apartment. I don't think Gene Bay smells like fish. Did we ever figure out the shadowy figure destroying the Denden Mushi at Egghead? Uh, no. We didn't. Unless it was York. Unless it might have been York or maybe Caribou. It could have been Caribou. But, uh, we haven't found that out yet, I guess. Uh,. N-A-O-H is perfect for people. Also, Piranha Solution. I've never heard of these, but apparently there are things. Um, what are your thoughts on Natsu from Fairy Tale versus Luffy? 
Well, Natsu would probably win because there's a lot of bullshit power-ups in fairy tales. So as long as Natsu had his friends around him cheering him on, he would probably win. Um, no, I'm sorry. Nekamamushi's a giant cat. He's staying where he's staying. Uh, are you into Undead Unlocked? I picked up around the same time I did with Mashal. It's pretty wicked sick. Yeah, I love I love Undead Unlocked. It's a really good series. Uh, I'll ask Frankie to turn me into a cyborg. I wouldn't go that far with it, but I would be okay living with him. I wouldn't want to be a cyborg, but it'd be cool living with a cyborg. Just pray he's not a puppy when he rooms with you. Trust me. Uh, I've never had to room with a with a puppy. We've never actually had a puppy that I've ha we've had to raise since like birth. So like like you know potty train and like ripping everything apart. Like we've never had to deal with that. Uh, if I did get another dog, it would probably be a dog that's older. And also that helps because I feel like senior dogs don't get adopted because they're older. And like, oh, well, they're not going to live much longer. So no one wants them as much. I would adopt a dog that would probably be a lot older. Yeah. I'll pay to be a roomie with Frankie. Yeah. Uh, Doflamingo and Matt star in 365 days. That's the plot of a Wattpad novel. All right. Oh, it already exists. Okay. Interesting. Um... I wouldn't mind Shanks being my roommate. Yeah, Shanks wasn't on the list. I didn't include him. I guess Shanks is one of those characters that would just be like, eh. It's like, okay. Like, I tried to pick characters, not all of them, but I tried to pick characters that were like, like, Inu Arashi and Nekamamushi is a perfect example. One's a dog, one's a cat. So, like, that's a unique kind of vibe for living together. You know, Shanks is just kind of a guy. You know, he's a, he's a strong guy. Just kind of a guy, though. Cavendish is annoying. Hakuma, Hakuba is CSI. Absolutely. What if Buggy's awakened as he becomes a Logia? I don't think that's how that works, but it'd be funny if that's how that works. Uh, couldn't Logias just let their dirt fall through? You know, in the case with Ace, if any dirt got on him, he could probably just have his body just burn it off. Like, it goes into him and it just burns off. So, in the case with some of those Logias, maybe not all of them, but with, like, Ace would be the best. Ace is like a walking incinerator. Anything that gets on him would just burn away. Yeah. Uh, Akainu, too, by that logic. Um, Brooke makes jokes so you will die laughing. Huh? yo ho 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 uh, Needed something to listen to during work? Well, here you go. Zoro gets kicked out for not showering. Yeah, he does work out. I don't think he doesn't shower. It's just that... He works out a lot, maybe showers maybe once every two days or so. I think I got those both. Yeah, I got both of these. All right. Um, Now make an all-woman version. Yeah, I decided to keep, like, the women on the minimal because, like, you know, uh, the, the chat was going to get really horny it, really fast if there were a lot of women on the list. So, yeah. Sodium hydroxide, industrial floor cleaner, alkaline drain cleaner, but I also don't have enough characters. I get it. Oh, wait. Sodium hydroxide. Isn't that lye? Because you use lye. Lye is... Lye shows up in a lot of recipes for uh, making really good pretzels. If you want to ever make the crispiest, best pretzels ever, you got to use lye. And the thing is, you got to dilute it properly. And then you got to bathe the dough in the lye. But it makes really good pretzels. But if you get any of that shit on your skin, it gives you a like a chemical scar. And it burns. So, uh, yes, exactly that. Yeah, so sodium hydroxide. You can cook with it. But you gotta fucking know what you're doing. And I, I, I do not trust myself to cook with it. So I've never done. Now, you can also use baking soda. Baking soda is like the safe alternative to use that for the dough. But it just, it doesn't turn out as well. But... If you want real, if you've ever had a really, really good pretzel, like a delicious, super crispy, perfect pretzel, probably was cooked using sodium hydroxide. Yeah, but that's just a theory, a pretzel theory. Thanks for watching. Oh, Matt Pat, we'll miss you. Good luck to you in retirement, Matt Pat. Did I ever tell you the story? I ran into Matt Pat's great aunt. I, I've definitely told the story on here before. Uh, she was in Dollar Tree apparently one night. She came into Dollar Tree once and was like, um, I was talking to her about my YouTube channel. I was like, oh, yeah, I do YouTube. And she's like, oh, my grandnephew does YouTube. And I'm like, oh, okay. Who's your grandnephew? I was like, hey, have you ever heard of this game theory? And I'm like, yeah, Matt Pat is like, that's your grandnephew. I'm like, yes. I'm like, huh. Okay, then. That's cool. And then there's the story. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, 
Um, did Bonnie come along with Kuma? Uh, no. Let's just say for the sake of everything, no. No, it's like I I don't I don't want a kid running around. That's just that's annoying. So let's just just Kuma. Just Kuma's there. He could go look after. Oh, but in this version, Ginny is still alive. And okay, in this version, Ginny is still alive, but Kuma is divorced. <laughs> Which, hey, she's still alive. It just didn't work out. You know, they were a great, they were a good couple. It just didn't work out. So, so <laughs> the Bonnie spends, they, they go and spend days with them. There you go. There, there it is. Okay. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching everybody. Uh, this is Teching signing out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll probably make a video about something. One Piece is on break this week. Later, everyone signing out. Bye.